me about this, right? One thing I was wanting to know, like, what, what keeps you positive? I said this before, like, you are one of the most positive guys I've, I've had a yeah. pleasure of spending time with. You know, you know what? I think it's one of those. Um, I think it's because I do things how I want to do it, and I do things my way. So therefore, no one has the ability to upset me. So it's very hard for me to be negative because whatever decision I've made is I've made it today. I, I'm here today because I wanted to be here. Yeah. yeah. And I, I'm I'm only going to do things that I'm going to have fun with. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, 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 so yeah. whereas I feel like so many people are doing it. <laughs> All right. Welcome to Paul Mort Talks Shit. Today, I am talking shit with my G, Mr. Darren Cartel. How you Aaron, doing? What are you saying? I'm excited. I can tell you're really excited. Oh, I'm excited, man. <laughs> I'm getting the zone. When Do you I'm... know what you look like? You look like my kids right before they're about to go on like a water slide or something. Yeah, why? <laughs> like your legs are going and that. I love it. Hey, also here, I shouldn't forget, he's fucking with his microphone right now. It's producer Mac. Yeah, yeah. How we doing? How cool does he sound on a mic, by the way? Did yeah. you hear that? Yeah, hey, hey. uh, your accent will get downloads, man. I'll yeah. <laughs> I should start some kind of, like, I don't know, cooking show where I'm talking over. Cooking show. Yeah. The Vanilla Gorilla. Put the, put the oil. I'm on the cooking show. Quick, so, so listen, you, you guys listening. Um, I feel, actually, I tell you what's crazy, Darren. Yeah. It was about a year ago that we met. At IFS. So Is IFS. That it? Yeah. Yeah. Isn't that mad? That's crazy. Oh, that's cool. So so me and Darren met in, at um, IFS in Barcelona last year. I remember walking into this thing in, in Barcelona. So IFS, for you guys who don't know, is a, a big... It was the first year, actually, last year, right? Yeah, it was, yeah. A big, big fitness event. Um, it was more of an influence, I think, right? It was like Fire Festival for fitness. It was like it's, the, it's like the Fire Festival that actually happened. Yeah, it, it is, I, and it was nuts. So I met Darren. He was straight over blowing smoke up my ass. It was, man. But you know what? It's because I, I followed you for a bit, and yeah. like, I was actually really excited to hear you talk more than anyone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that was like... Um, because everyone else that was on there, I've pretty much heard them talk. And you uh, knew most of them as well, I right? knew most of them. Yeah. But with yourself, like, I, I know I did your email domination and everything, yeah. but I didn't actually get to meet you in person, yeah. which I was really excited for. Yeah. And you actually, that talk was, and this is not me licking your bum bum. Yeah. That talk was sick. Come on. And, and here's the thing. I, imagine if I prepared for that. <laughs> <laughs> but dude, honestly, it's crazy. My speaking game since then has raised up. And yeah, I'll, yeah you'll, you'll blow your beans next time you see me speak. Do up. you think, I've realised, like, when I do when I do my podcast, when I take notes, yeah. I've realised that I don't even look at the notes. Yeah. So when you're doing, like, a presentation or whatever, yeah. or you're talking corporate yeah. events, yeah. whatever it is, yeah. do you feel like, it, like prepping too much is sometimes a bad thing? Mm. I think it depends on the crowd. I think if I've been paid money to do something, the more prep I do, the better. Yeah. I'll still freestyle. Yeah. So here's, here's an example. When I speak, do we're into it already. Yeah. People don't even know Darren is yet. Yeah. <laughs> let's let's let's, go, let's come back to that. Yeah. I love it. All good. So, They'll find so, out. They'll this find is my out. show, by the way. I'm the one who asks the questions here, bro. Oh, sorry, baby. <laughs> <laughs> so 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 here's the thing. <laughs> I'm having so much fun. <laughs> yeah, that was so much fun. So, I'm having a really nice time. Very nice. Very nice. So so I'll still Everyone thinks like a presentation is about like bullet points and the words that are on the slides. But when I speak now, there's no words on the slides. I'll just tell a story. Yeah. So that means I can still freestyle. Because think about this. I think people's biggest panic and struggle with speaking, public speaking, is that they'll fuck up. Yeah. Yeah. You can't fuck up your own story. True. And even if you do, nobody knows. That's My true. biggest worry is Leslie standing at the back of the room worrying about what I'm going to say. Like how over the line it's going to be yeah. like how dirty it's going to be so I have this one story about that time I had to take a shit in public you probably yeah, heard yeah, it I have heard it yeah. and I describe it as like there's a Mars bar hanging out my ass <laughs> and as yeah. he's like please don't say the Mars bar thing and sometimes I'll, I'll, I'll but that's, we that's were rehearsing that one time before expert oh Empire. dude and she was like right no that's take not that going out. Out. take he, that out he aye. performed his whole speech in front of me and Leslie we, we were giving audience like aye, yeah. feedback and she was like nah do you're you not know, putting that in do you know not what's worse that room was like, about 700 people in it mm. and pr presenting it to Leslie and Mark was harder than presenting that's, it to the room don't you reckon like when the rooms are not full it's just way more harder yeah and was it was it the pressure of them too, or was it the pressure of just two people instead of the pressure just two people? Because dude, in front of a big room, you can't see them. You know this. Yeah, yeah, when true. you're on when you're on yeah. tour, yeah, yeah, is the lights in your face. Yeah. You can maybe see the front row. Yeah, and they're the ones in the front row is always like that anyway. Yeah, you know what I mean. And what I realized is like laughter's like it's 
it's contagious, isn't it? Mm. Yeah. So like, as soon as someone giggles, like yeah, yeah, the next person just takes off, oh, and I'm you're like, all, yes, I've got I'm it. I'm always laughing at my own jokes, aren't you? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. He's the one that starts the laugh. Yeah, I'm the one that's I'm like, fuck it, I've told this story twenty times. It's like a Mexican wave. And it's still hilarious. It's still hilarious. It's still funny. It's still fucking funny. Yeah. So so listen, let's let's say let's hit that rewind. Yeah. Who's there in cartel? Fuck, I don't, I don't know, man. What do you know Darren Cartel as? What was it when you first saw me? What do you, what did you know me as? Because I always find this a little bit hard because like people even like, oh, I'll follow you on Instagram for the videos that you do. Yeah. I'll follow you because of uh, all the fitness stuff that you put out, yeah. uh, TikTok, whatever it is. Yeah. I think I'm just like, I don't know, I'm just being me and it's just kind of worked out. Yeah, so obviously I, I knew you through James. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was like, as James is mate. Yeah. <laughs> no, it's and true you've had that lot, right? It's true, yeah, yeah. because... The thing is, at the end of the day, like he was the he was the first person that gave me a plug. Yeah, right? I'm talking James Smith, by the way, for you guys that are kind Smith, of yeah, first yeah. episode. Yeah, 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 James yeah. Smith, and he gave me my first plug. And when he did that, he obviously saw the responses from people. Yeah, not only beneficial to him, but also yeah. beneficial to me. Yeah, and as mates, and we grew to become best mates. Yeah, it's been beneficial for both our businesses yeah. as well as each other's growth, which yeah. is a great thing because everything we're doing. We're yeah, also quite different, by the way. Yeah, very different. So yeah. I think that's why it, it it works so well. Yeah. Because initially it's like, oh, there's Diren, James's friend. Yes. But now I see it. It's, it's well, Diren. bro, this is random as fuck. Yeah. Leslie gets a little bit like that. She hates being known as Paul Mart's wife. Yeah, yeah. So she's been doing a lot of work and confidence yeah. and speaking and yeah. like she she doesn't like that. She's like, oh, it's just yeah. Paul's wife. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. So you're like James's. But, but the Turkish. thing is, you're always gonna get that. I, yeah. then I might get. Oh, you're you're James's well, friend. Here's a cool thing. Yeah. Some people might be to James. Oh, you're Darren's friend. Yeah. Do you yeah, know what I mean? Fine. Yeah, exactly. That's cool. But I think the biggest thing with that is, is people get frustrated because of that. Is simply because of their ego. Mm. Uh, I, I, yeah, I don't yeah, care. Yeah, when yeah, someone yeah. says that to me, I'm like, yeah, he's my best mate. I'm James's friend. Yeah. What? Yeah. Like, yeah. what do you? Want, are you are it's you how you me perceive it, it, really, isn't it? Exactly. Yeah. It is I. And then it's like, okay, well, oh, there's Ali. And you're Diren's friend. <laughs> you know what I mean? Or there's Jade, James's friend, yeah. Diren's friend. There's Ali, yes. Jade's friend. Yes. So it's just a circle that just, yeah, you know what I mean? Yeah, like, but I'm yeah. taking producer Mac to the fucking grave. Producer yeah. Mac to the grave. <laughs> Max, <laughs> had, the grave. Max, I've already said this on numerous podcasts. Max had every job title under the sun. So yeah. Yeah. And you'd be that producer Mac from Paul Moore Talk Shit. Yeah. Best job in the world, Mac. Yeah. Right, Legit. And you, Did you, you think about some of the people you've met just since I started doing this show? It was mad. Mad. Mad time. How mad, was um, when, you met, when you met Fury? Crazy! I literally, I, I can't say it enough of just he's he's a normal bloke, Man. like legit. When he I came say in, just bloke. shouting, "Water!" Yeah. He's like, just got yeah, water. Yeah, yeah, What's up, yeah. What are you saying? Yeah. And and then um, Tyson came in, "Water! Yeah. You big daft bastard!" Or something like that. <laughs> you big dosser. Uh, he came in. He came in in this fucking clapped out old truck thing. This yeah. clapped out old van. Yeah. Just been at the tip. They weren't fucking open. <laughs> yeah, and then he was just straight into it. Like he's yeah. Yeah. he was so enthusiastic. Because my biggest worry with that interview was, do you know? When someone, you know, when you see people on TV and you're like, he doesn't really want to be there. Yeah, yeah. My yeah. biggest worry was that we're doing this interview and he would just be like, not fucking interested. Mm, but he yeah. was really, he was so enthusiastic. Yeah. Like, yeah. I would, we proper buzzed on him. Yeah, he loved so, yeah. it. He loved it. So you will skirt around this question who's Darren Cartel? Darren Cartel. Oh, no, no, l- listen. Okay, go on. Let, let me ask you a better question. Okay. So Darren's a guy <clears throat> who, actually, dude, fair play, you're probably one of the most positive guys I've ever met. I, like, I love being in your company, man. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Same. same like, I like you. being in your company. Darren's got great energy. That's why I wanted to have him on. <laughs> Tell a little bit of his story. See if he's got any things that he can pass on to you guys that are listening. And Darren's... Uh, uh, I almost said the I word. Can I say the I word? What's the I word? But well, actually, you can't. You participate in the influencer games, didn't you? What? Oh, that. Yeah, I did. I did. Yeah. What do you think? I, I was going to say immigrant. No, no. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's the obvious. That's the obvious one. That's the obvious. Uh, you know what? I, I, I always find it like hard because like there's so many podcasts. Darren, who is Darren Cardell? Darren's yeah. a personal trainer. Yeah. Mm. He's a good one. Yeah. 100%. World class. World class. One of the best in the UK. I'll yeah. say that straight. And yeah. I think I'm a good coach. And now, funny enough, I'm becoming like a business person yeah. and even a content creator. Yeah. I'm like a producer, someone that does email, someone that does mm. all of this stuff. So that's why it's sometimes hard for me to explain like, mm. well, Darren, what do you do? I just see myself as the positive fitness guy that educates you or makes you smile online yeah. and hopefully I'll make your day when you watch my content you yeah, know what I mean dude, that's I love, I, that. I love that and do you know that I was just thinking about the influencer thing because some people get kind of offended by it right yeah, oh I'm not an influencer yeah. and, and I think that actually if you think about it like everybody I did a whole workshop on this in, in July everybody influences 
some everyone's an influencer, Everyone. really. Like you, you think about this. Every time I have an interaction with somebody, yeah, I say this to the guys all the time. Everyone that I interact with, whether it's uh, the the producer that's working on a podcast, whether yeah. it's the lady at reception, yeah, whether it's a guy in uh, that what's the rum place called? Rum Ki- kitchen, rum kitchen, rum kitchen, banging. banging Shout out, it. rum kitchen. Good food. We're yeah. open for sponsorship. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Trips to London. And, 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 like everyone that I come into contact with. I'm having an influence on them some yeah, way. Yeah. So I'm always like, I want to leave a positive. Like, my kids go, Dad, why do you always say to people, have a nice day, have yeah, a great yeah, day? Yeah. Why yeah. do you always say that? I'm like, well, yeah. somebody else has probably trapped them like a shit house. Do you yeah, know what I mean? Exactly. Someone else probably. So I think, and I think the difference between influencers, what they really are is entertainers, right? Really. Yeah. You're in it, like, you have the same amount of inf- you influence people like anybody else, but you're just more entertaining. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's like, just at a different place. It's on. It's on social media instead of TV. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? It's a, and I think people do forget, like you said, is we, we, we all have, not have the power, we, we can't control it. We always influence people. Yeah. You might even, sometimes you'll stop and think, you're like, where the fuck did I get that word? Someone's influenced me to say that word. Yeah. And you might say something that I've said today yeah. a lot. Or I might even, yeah. when I'd I be do... calling everyone fucking fan by the time I get no, home. Most. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, look at James. He's from Windsor. Now he's saying, bruv. <laughs> Windsor. You know what I mean? <laughs> and then I pick stuff up from him. And like, who, yeah. like you, when you spend so much time with people, you just naturally yeah. pick yeah. things up. Yeah. I've noticed with some of my talks, like... He's I, using the I, I sometimes, words now, isn't he? <laughs> yeah, yeah. But like, sometimes I, I, I go with the angle of like, you. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Because I've listened to you so many times. Yeah. I don't even realise I'm doing it, but like, I'm doing it with... as. Like Diren, yeah. as Diren does it. Do you yeah. know what I mean? So well, I say this quite a lot. Sometimes I'll pick content up from somebody else. Um, Let's make it better. So like some me- I, well, no, I don't even do that. I just add the word fuck in. <laughs> I say it all the time. I'll be like, oh, that guy's so good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My guys wouldn't like his content, but I'll just say what he says and add the word fuck in. I'll fuck I'm it good. up. Yeah, yeah, I'll yeah, fuck yeah. that shit up. I'll mortify <laughs> it. Yeah. I'll mortify it. And that happens. I think that, uh, do you know what? It also happens when I'm, if I'm reading the book, you'll suddenly find yourself quoting things, like yeah. saying things from the book. Yeah. It's mad. Yeah. Well, that's what we are. We learn. We let, yeah. We're copy. We're copy and learn. And... That's exactly what we are. That's our kids. That's why I'm yeah. so... Yeah. That's why I want to get the kids on a podcast for a start. I yeah. love them seeing what I do. Yeah. Max is marginal. Yeah. Every time I speak to someone, I say, Dad, who's that? Yeah, yeah, <laughs> Every yeah. single person, he loves it when I say, I don't actually know. Yeah, yeah, He's, yeah. Honestly, it's we're in the Metro Centre the other day, which is a big shopping centre. That's about... Yeah. 40, 35 minutes from where we live. Yeah. And we went in, as soon as I walked in, so I said, you poor mold. Oh, Which sick. is mad, by the way. Yeah. That's mad. Which is crazy. That's mad. And it's... Max was like, Dad, who's that? <laughs> who's know. that? And I do it with Nina. Someone toot the horn. Yeah. I don't know who it is. And I'll say, Nina, they're booting for you, not me. She's like, oh, the dad. I'm like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> See, no TikTok. See, no TikTok. See, no TikTok. Oh, dude, she's there. Uh... She's a star in the making, she for is, sure. She, she is. is. Character. Is. You can see it. Yeah. You she'll, she'll, um, you know, when... Enough, when I asked the kids about the podcast, she was like, Dad. Definitely, as long as I can talk about whatever. I can't remember what you said. And Max was like, no. Nah. Yeah, yeah, It's so yeah. different, it's insane. Yeah. It's mad. So, dude, what, what, um, how did you end up doing this fucking thing that you do? What, as in? Like, not the personal training thing, but yeah. the, 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 the kind of Darren Instagram. Darren Cartel show. The you Darren know, Cartel show, yeah. yeah. I guess that's what it is, right? Yeah, that's what it is, yeah. yeah. I guess, yeah. Your podcast is just an extension of... Me. Yeah. yeah. And I think it's good because people saw a different level of me because... Obviously, on Instagram, everything we do is like when we create content is to get people's attention, yeah. right? To give a certain yeah. message. Yeah. But you're never actually at this level. So people, whoever's listening to this or watching this, yeah. is they see Darren or see you, see you guys yeah. at a level of discussion. Mm. Like a fly on the wall. Mm. Yeah. You know yes. what I mean? They don't see that side of it on Instagram. Yeah. Yeah. So when they see that side, they're like, oh, fuck, this is... I've never seen this, which mm. is good. Mm. But I've been doing this sort of thing since... Remember Snapchat? Mm. Remember Shit. Snapchat? When that oh. first started coming around. Okay, so when Snapchat was happening... Is that oh, where Wicks blew up? You know the chef? Uh, Joe Wicks? No. Blow, he, was chef, he, he was in... You know the chef? He was... Uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. He was, Dude, by he the way, I've got to give a shout out to Smith for this. Because yeah, it's funny. one of the best deflections. Ever. Like, he has yeah, more than yeah, trying yeah, to stitch yeah, him up in front of millions of people. Yeah, that was funny. And that was the best deflection. I, record, I was recording seen. it. I was waiting for, science to, for him to say something and I was cracking. Dude, the best deflection I've yeah, ever yeah, seen. Was that one? He blew up on Wicks. Well, he, it, no, it was Lena like 15, f- him. No, but, like, no, but it was he, Instagram. he blew up. No, it wasn't Instagram. No, no, no. He said he something. He blew up on like, one platform. Uh, one platform he blew up on a video. I don't know. And it wasn't Vine? Instagram. Maybe? No, it was something no. where the videos are 15 seconds long or something. Is that Vine? No, that's, no, that's Vine. That's Vine. That's yeah. like Logan Paul and stuff yeah, before they yeah, hit the YouTube. Is it? On Snapchat, you know who was big? Um, Dapper Laughs. Oh, yeah. Yes, that yeah, yeah, was yeah, huge yeah. on Snapchat. But then I only had like friends. It wasn't like an open account. Mm. Yeah. And I just used to 
talk rubbish. I used to be like in the car or whatever and just music on, <laughs> and just like being me, doing yeah. exactly what I'm doing on the story. So yeah. when I converted over to the stories, when Instagram released stories, yeah. I was just doing the same thing. I think what I did was, and one of the things that helped me is when I moved to Australia is, um, you know, when you change environment, it's very, it's very, it's a lot easier to become like a new version of yourself. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I feel like... I did that and moved countries and I became a fucked up version of Paul Moore. But we've already, we've already <laughs> yeah. told that story, yeah. But like, that that affects you, right? The environment. So what I did was, I was like, you know what? Everything that I would do, and I was doing in the UK, I was like, when I'm in Australia, I'm just going to exaggerate there a little bit more, be even more me. The stuff you think that, that was I because not many people, like you didn't know anyone there, do you think? Yeah, no judgment. Yeah. Because we always, we always pause before we say anything because of the fear we have of what other people may think yeah, of the bro, opinion bro. or what people say. But I had this the other day, I ended up doing a video about it. I was about to post a fucking shirtless picture after a workout. Yeah. And I was like, should I be posting this? Yeah, yeah. What if, what if it, you always get a guy who's like, did you skip leg day? I know, yeah. Do you know what I mean? You always get you always get one of those, and then you're yeah. also thinking, is this going to make other people feel bad? Nah. It, is someone going to think I'm a cunt? Like, yeah. I'm not. I'm good for getting over that, but yeah. there was just an initial like I call it turbulence. Yeah, had a bit of turbulence. I'm like, yeah. should I do that? So yeah, dude. But I think it's because you don't usually post that, so it might not be as natural to you. Yeah. Whereas I think if you were to post that, people would be like, you know what? That's a sick transformation yeah. that he's done when he was. In that moment of your life, when yeah. you're saying you were fucked up, yeah, like that's yeah. a big flip that you've done. Well, it's also interesting. I also made on the post. I said, "Listen, I wasn't posting pictures when I was fucking fluffy, was I?" Yeah, no, you, you know what I mean. I wasn't. Yeah, yeah. I wasn't posting them then. It's crazy. Hashtag, Highlight real, hashtag isn't it? relatable, innit? <laughs> <laughs> hashtag <laughs> relatable. Hashtag relatable. See, I'll be saying in it by in Friday it. night. I'll in be it, saying in it. it. But see, that's a that's a prime example of just a slight influence. Do you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. And it's just a natural thing. And then when we spend so much time with each other, yeah. it's just it's yeah. hit. He's been talked over by Mush. Mush, I keep calling Mush. Yeah, I've noticed that. I've got, a friend, got, I've got a friend. He's actually a, he's a friend of mine, but he's also a sales coach. He teaches. He's taught me so much about selling. Obviously, he's yeah. Max coach as well. Yeah. And he calls everyone mush. It's a Birmingham oh, thing. So okay. I was sort of calling everyone mush. What, that, what, what does that mean? Mate. Like, it's like mate. It's like dude, bro. Mush. It's like bro, mush. The, what's, the, what's going on, mush? Hey, you mush. know the worst part about it? Everyone's coming back to me now calling me mush. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's, yeah, it's crazy how that happens, isn't it? Yeah. Have the whole yeah. other but like you know, yeah. but you know, like any content that we do or anything that you put out there, right? Yeah. Someone else has already done it. Oh, Oh, one hundred percent. It's just your take. Exactly. And the funny thing is, like, you see all these people, like, say, like the ones that copy our content or whatever. I see them doing it, right? And yeah. it's, and it's funny because their followers or whatever think it's like their original content, yeah, 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 yeah. and they because <laughs> it's such a complete different audience. Yeah. So they don't know. They haven't seen anyone else do it, so yeah. they think it's original from that person. Yeah. But realistically, the only thing that's authentic and original is yourself. Mm -hmm. It's the way you yeah, can. Yeah. It's just, it's probably the way that you communicate it. Exactly. You know what I mean? Exactly. Yeah. It's just the way we say it compared yeah. to how. Do you know what I mean? Like, because I was gonna say, probably the videos you've done. Yeah. Someone's done them before you. Yeah. Someone's done them. It's always interesting me when I'll drop a video and someone like, "Wow, that has blown my mind," yeah. and I'm thinking, "Well, yeah, but, it's not that good." Yeah. Like I'll drop something and I'll be like. I mean, that's all right. Yeah, yeah. And then someone will be like, oh my God, that's made me head fall off. Yeah, yeah. But it's mad. Do, do you feel like, do you ever feel like when you post the ones that you get nervous about? Dude, 100%. Always, they're the ones 100%. that bang. Yeah. They're the ones that yeah. bang when you get nervous yeah. about it. It's like you were talking about that talk. That was the best talk. I was like, eh, it was all right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was the best talk. That, that's the you, audience. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's yeah. where the audience is at. It's mad. Yeah. But I think there's also the element of like, say, I might say the exact same thing as you, right? Yeah. But someone will relate to you in a different way mm. to how they relate to me. Yeah. So they will respect your opinion. And that's why I think it's important for all these influencers and shit putting out all this random stuff is gain some respect from your audience. So when you say something, it's uh, valuable. That's why, like, look at your following. It's not huge, yeah. but they love you and respect you yeah. because whatever you put out is valuable content. It's helpful. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. It's helpful. It's not just... Hashtag ad. Do yeah. you know what I mean? And there's nothing wrong with that. Yeah, 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 but it's yeah. what you're giving is you're giving more value to. Yeah. Yeah. You know? By the way, if anyone wants to hit me up for hashtag ads, I'm, <laughs> I'm fucking good to go. I was, yeah. I'm, I'm trying to think of something that I need right now. Memes, you got you love the team. Memes, I love the I love the Boom bod. Sin as a <laughs> Herbal Life. Sin as a tire where you at. Schmerbal life. I can't Sh even say that word anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Schmerbal life. Schmerbal life. Yeah. Oh. So dude, listen, let, let's get on to um let's get on to some shit about 
I want to know just quickly before. Yeah. Where, what what kind of transition from football to PT? What happened oh, there? This okay, is, yeah. this is a good one. Okay, this okay, is okay, a, okay, I want, okay. This is a. But Max just threw a fucking yeah. a big spanner on the world. Because I've, I've, I've Mac fallen... Daddy talks shit. I like that. <laughs> I'm taking the show. <laughs> um, but um, no, I, I hang on a fucking second. Now that you're saying that, check this out. So the other week we ran an event. Yeah. Right. About thirty guys came to my HQ. It was the yeah. end of um, it was the end of our our May man's formation on start my man's formation. Yeah. Next thing I know, I finished the event. Max getting interviewed. He's getting interviewed in my podcast studio by one of the guys. I'm like, it's in the fucking piss. You know what I mean? So it'd be, I couldn't believe it. So I was like, the kid didn't even ask me. Mac Daddy, there Mac you go. Daddy, yeah, Mac yeah, Daddy, I couldn't believe 10. it. Yeah, there you go. So what, what was your um? um okay, so football was something like, I've, I've, I was playing since I was um, under sevens for Royal Falcons in East London. And it was something that I've always wanted to be. I always wanted to be a footballer. Always. That is all I wanted. I think we've all been there where you've wanted to be I a did, footballer. I did. And then right? I was, you know? realised I was terrible. Yeah. <laughs> that, see, see, that took me a lot longer. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so I was like... I said oh, that positive mindset yeah, didn't yeah, help. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. It didn't yeah. help. It Honestly, didn't I'm really good. It didn't help. I was like, <laughs> I was like, you know what? It was... I was good, but I didn't have that that thing that was missing. And I think it was confidence on the pitch. Right? Really? And all, the only reason I initially came, became a personal trainer and even done like BTEC sport and all of that stuff in college was to become a better athlete, mm. to understand what it is to become a better athlete. Cause yeah. I've always had a bit of a weight issue. Yeah. yeah. And my coaches, it's from young age, they always just tell me that, like, do you need to lose weight? And now I think about it, I'm like, motherfucker, why don't you give me the solution? Mm, You're yeah. telling a fucking 12 year old to lose weight. Why don't you show me how? Mm. Do you know what I mean? 24 7, bro. Yeah, knee up 24 yeah. 7. But like, I didn't know any of that. So I wanted to learn as much as I can to become a better athlete, to be able to create more force, to run faster, do more things, and whatever. I kept playing. I played non league. I went to Australia, played one below A League for a little bit. I actually got a professional contract in Australia. Yeah. Really? They terminated when I tore my plantar fascia. Oh, shit. Yeah. But then I realized, and while this is happening, I was still doing PT and I was killing it with PT, yeah. doing 30, 40 sessions a week, bringing in good money. Yeah. And it took me so long to realize and go, Darren, I think you're a lot better at the coaching side of things. <laughs> so why not push for that? But what I, the reason I didn't stop till I was fully done was because, because I dropped a lot of tears for football, man. Trials, this, really? that. Is I was like, I don't want to be 45 or 50 and turn around and be like, I didn't give it everything. Mm. One of those guys who were like, eh, I could if only I could stay away from women and booze. Yeah, yeah. or if I didn't have this injury or that, yeah. I would. do you know what I mean? Yeah. No, nah, I can turn around and be like, you know what? I tried my hardest. I learned a lot from it. I think I was good. We had the same conversation with Crawler, right? So Crawler, really? we had him last week. He's like, yeah. I got everything. Yeah. Like, I can't say that I left... Like he got everything out of the ability. Like he squeezed every drop. Everything out. Every drop out of the ability that he had, he yeah. squeezed everything out. And he's satisfied from it. Oh, yeah. I remember like my You don't dad. feel like... He, I'll, he's like, I'll not come back ever. Yeah. Like he, he knows. He he's knows. Not, he he's knows. not going to be one of those guys who's got... He's got no unfinished business. He's not forcing it. Yeah, yeah. yeah Is that what you felt like? I, I felt like that. And it was like... It was weird because my dad wanted me to be a footballer as well. Yeah. And I know he wanted it because I really wanted it. Yeah. And I remember he would like help me get trials and stuff in yeah. Turkey. Yeah. And I remember being so fucking nervous going on trial, yeah. like thinking, fucking hell, I'm not good enough, I'm not yeah. good enough. Yeah. And like, in my head, I was like, although that I was shitting my absolute pants going and doing trials with like first team players in League Two or whatever it was, that actually built so much character and like mm. a stronger mindset yeah. to everything that I do now. Whereas now I just don't care. Yeah. I just say whatever or uh -huh. do whatever because I feel like for too long I thought about too much of someone else's opinion whereas maybe sometimes and you know you know the best footballers there's that slight element of Ari being arrogant oh, totally. and you I feel like fighters oh, are the yeah. same I think yeah you need to fighters be. are the same the, the very highest level of fighters have this slight it's, it is arrogance probably it is it's like self but it's just self belief it's, self -belief. it's unshakable yeah. self belief exactly. isn't it? So like if you don't sign me I'm a fucking but yeah. Some, it, yeah. as you say got, some people perceive it differently yeah, yeah, exactly. yeah. Exactly. Like, so, like, the guys that you're talking about probably if you don't sign me someone else will Exactly. Whereas you were like, I must, I, I need must this. get this. So, and what's weird is I think... It, I do that happens in a simple situation like selling. Mm -hmm. yeah. I'm like, listen, if you don't buy from me, I don't give a fuck. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. You can buy from somebody else. Exactly. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? If you don't like me book, someone else will. But I think what I realise is coaches can... You know how we can see that? Yeah. Coaches can see that with you. So maybe if I was to act a little bit more Billy Big Bollocks when, when I was that age yeah. and yeah. not be so fucking nice because yeah. sometimes being nice fucks you over. Yeah. Definitely. So therefore, I put that mindset into PT and everything I'm doing now. Yeah. So that's why I give a big fuck you to anyone that talks shit. 
yeah. about personal training, coaching, yeah. whatever it is, and it's worked out all right. And let's talk yeah. about people talking shit. Remember that time? This one time, like, this dude, this dude called Darren out on Instagram, and he rang him. He called him up. Oh, he called yeah, him up yeah, yeah, and yeah, recorded him. him calling the guy up. I called him, yeah. I called yeah. him. I said, "What's your problem, dickhead?" He called me out talking shit. You, you <laughs> he, know, he recorded the phone conversation yeah, and posted it. it. I recorded it and posted it because this idiot, he, you know, when sometimes when people write comments or send inboxes, I know when someone's being racist. Right, mm. there's certain words that they use, mm. the way they say things, where I can just do what did he say again. I, I'm trying to remember what he said. What he said, yeah. Oh, he, he, uh, he. Oh, that's what I'm trying to remember as well. That's yeah. what I was trying to remember while I was saying that, but yeah. I don't know. But it <laughs> well, was something. Oh, you're buying time. He's, he was buying time. Then. It was doing it very well. It was mad. It was like the way I was. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I was, I was, I, I do it all was, the time. Like, yeah, yeah, it's good. I do it all the time. It's a new skill. I'm getting yeah. used to it. Yeah. <laughs> but like, <laughs> but like, uh, it was something where. It was like, you know what, you prick, I'm not letting you get away with this, right? But there's something to do with stop trying being funny or something. He, oh, no, it wasn't even that. I feel like I should be scrolling your grid right now. Your grid? I didn't even know it was called that's a another, grid. That's another word. That's, that's the one I got on Smith. That's another, oh, Smith really? called it a grid. I'm like, what? Really? He said he put it, you, you know, we're talking about the massage guns. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He said, oh, they said they wanted someone on the grid. I'm like, what the fuck, fuck is, is that? that? <laughs> is that on MySpace, bro? <laughs> <laughs> get me a membership. <laughs> Get me a membership. Is that on the, grid. the grid, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's crazy. Yeah, so I just called him up. He didn't realise. Listen, guys, anyone that's listening, if you're going to talk shit about someone, just make sure on your link on your bio, you don't have your address, <laughs> where you work, your private phone number, yep. your email, whatever it is. I found the gym he works at, did the video, called him. He was like... Uh, 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 uh. <laughs> yeah. And then he called the police and said that I did that because yeah. a lot of people in the gym, PTs were all following me and realise it was him. Oh, so he yeah. got abuse from people from <laughs> yeah. his gym. Yeah. The police they called will. me, told the police, and he said, the police officer was like, I'm very sorry about that. Um, I'll, I'll sort this out. And the police gave him shit for wasting their time. Well, dude, you know the problem, right? What I love about that is people, we've talked quite a lot with people about trolling. Yeah. Obviously, we've had Sam on, who's been on Jolly Show on Love Island. He gets so much fucking abuse. From he handles me. it really well. <laughs> <laughs> I'm joking. He's not on, a, he's not on the fucking Schmerber Life game. Don't worry about him. Mm. <laughs> but it's like, we're, we've talked a lot about like online shit that people get. Even Crawler was getting shit. But right yeah. before he was with Lomachenko, yeah, yeah. he was like, he, he posted, I remember him posting something like, people are acting like I've won the fucking, like I've got the winning lottery ticket. He said, I've, yeah. fucking, I've been fighting for 20 years. Yeah, I'm number one contender. That's why I'm fighting Lomachenko. You might think I've got no chance, but I fucking earned the right to fight him. Yeah, exactly. And get the big fucking payday. Exactly. But I think we're living in an age where people can get away with saying Anything. what the fuck they want. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, and no one I'm calls like, them up on bro, it. Bro, if you want, come to my office anytime you want. Yeah. Mark will deal with you. Yeah, Mark <laughs> Max, yeah, Max, yeah, Max, I'm gonna yeah. I'm gonna turn up at the office yeah. one day and there's gonna be a, gonna be a line, line of people. people, people <laughs> Where's Paul? Where's Paul? Paul, 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 Paul said we can yeah. come down. But Paul's... you know what? I think it's um it's weird because even like that, anyone someone says something neg negative, it's um it's weird that negativity gets more attention than positivity. Mm. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Oh, a million percent. Like yeah. I'll get I'll get a hundred comments on something that are all positive, and the one guy you'll comment. I mean, listen, I'm, I, I think I'm world class at dealing with it now. <laughs> yeah. Honestly, I just say I hope you're okay. Whatever yeah. I say, I hope you're yeah. okay. Like yeah. kill yourself, hope you're okay, bro. Yeah. That was shit. You selfish cunt. Yeah. Have I dropped this? Is that the first C bar? No, that's yeah. definitely not. The first. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder if I, I think I might have dropped one when Leslie was on. I think you dropped one with Tyson. Really? <laughs> I'm pretty sure you did. Well, I'm, 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 I'm glad you remember. I was, sitting, I was sitting in the room. I was like, Phew, we're in a oh, church, you know. Yeah. Oh, shit, wait, he said that as well, didn't were he? Were you in a church? Yeah, we're in a church. Down, was, downstairs was, in a church. It was underground in a church. Shut Because he'd said... He's he religious, actually, isn't he? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mate, within about a minute, he said, I said, how was lockdown? And he went, well, I just fucking... He said, I just finished knocking the fuck out of that Deontay Wilder. And then it went into lockdown. He went... Are we in a church here? <laughs> was it <anything>? Really? <laughs> it, was, it was mad. I, I, some fucking boy. Oh, but yeah, nice. but yeah. Well, what we're talking about there? Drop, I've lost me training drop thought. Sea bombs. Drop the sea bombs. <laughs> yeah. Where did the sea bomb come from? Probably talking about you. <laughs> 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 but yeah, nothing. We're talking, we're talking about, about people talking on yeah, negativity. Yeah, 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 people yeah. talking online. Yeah. yeah. And 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 um, it, it's. I'm not going to say it's a difficult thing to deal with because listen, I have a lot of everyday. Guys and girls listen to this, and I'm not sure whether whether 
I don't I don't want to spend too much time talking about it because a lot of people won't get that. Yeah. Like, a lot of people don't I'd, get it. I don't get any hate. Never had it. Nah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, no. Nah. Yeah. You've never had it. So Darren, talk, nah. talk me about this, right? One thing I was wanting to know, like, what what keeps you positive? I said this before, like you are one of the most positive guys I've I've had a yeah. pleasure of spending time with. You know uh, you know what? I think it's one of those um I think it's because I do things how I want to do it and I do things my way. So therefore, no one has the ability to upset me. So it's very hard for me to be negative because whatever decision I've made is I've made it today. I, I'm here today because I wanted to be here. Yeah. yeah. And I, I'm, a, I'm only going to do things that I'm going to have fun with. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So whereas I feel like so many people do. Have you been things. in position? I bet you've been in positions. You appreciate this now? Because I've been in those positions. Yeah. Because I've had the shitty jobs. I've, I've been in places and done things. Hey, let's go hated. here. Let's go here. Yeah, let's go. Let's here. not stay in the positive thing. Let's go here. Yeah, yeah. Let's yeah. go the shitty jobs thing. Yeah, 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 yeah. So like, I've done all the. I've worked in Oxford Street, JD Sports, five pound an hour. I've helped my dad out in his restaurant. I've done all those things. Yeah. I've not hated, but you I have just, to do them sometimes. You have to do them. But this is the problem. When you don't do them, you don't appreciate yeah, this the privileged fucking shit house. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Well, see, I think there's a lot of this in today's society. So just much privileged. I find it. This is going to be a difficult thing for my kids because they get a lot of things that I've never had. Yeah, yeah, They've yeah. never... They've flown fucking business class before. Yeah, they've yeah, They've been yeah. first class on... They've never actually... Yeah. They've never actually gone standard class on a train ever. Yeah. They've stayed in some of the best hotels in the fucking yeah. world. They've been yeah. all over the fucking... They've been all over the world. Yeah. And I think I'm going to have some work to do to show them that they're privileged as fuck. Mm. Yeah. You know what I mean? They are privileged. Yeah. So I'm probably after going to put them down the mine or something when I'm when 16. I'm sticking, putting them down the fucking coal mine. But you know what? This is the thing. Like, I've had some friends like before um, where they've had kids from early on yeah. and they're not making <clears throat> much money, yeah. but they're buying their kids Nike Air Max, this and that from like when they're a yeah. baby. Yeah, I'm, I'm like, bro, I'm like, bro, but, but yeah, but you can <clears throat> afford to buy the next one. Yes. I'm like, your kid, you can barely afford to buy these trainers, uh, but then your kid is going to expect even better. Yeah. So you know what I mean? Next time, I'm not saying this will happen, yeah, but yeah, maybe yeah, Nina yeah. doesn't go business class to yeah. Dubai or whatever. She might be like, oh. Dude, by the time she's 16, she'll be paying for it herself. Well, that's what I'm saying. But like, <laughs> yeah, but you, you'll put her in that mindset. Yes. Whereas I feel yes. like a lot of people are not actually on their kids' cases yeah. as much because people are going to turn around, what the fuck do you know doing? You have no kids, but yeah. I'm not stupid. It's yeah. because too many people are chasing things that they don't want to do. They're in jobs that they don't like. Yeah. They're with people that they don't like. Yeah. And now they they have no time for their family. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. 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 So yeah. like, yeah. I feel like because I'm positive because I'm doing everything that I want to do. I've now built the strength yeah. and maturity to turn around and say, "Nah, I'm not going to do that. Yeah. I don't want to do that. Because why? Because it's not gonna it's not gonna make me feel good. Yeah. So I don't want to do it. Thing is though, people see yeah. you now and think that this has been Duran Cartel the whole time. And I bet yes. you, I bet you've never you've not always been this positive, this up, this. Nah, man. I've been for, like I've I've, been, I've even like the time when I when I when I was in Australia, I went to Australia because I was engaged to an Australian girl. Mm -hmm. I, I was with an Australian girl from the age of seventeen to twenty five. And I based my decisions on other people too much. Mm. I was worried that I was going to upset one person. I was worried I was going to upset my parents, mm. my family. Yeah, I, and so, like, I was at 25, 25, I was at PT. I was a PT doing well. My head was screwed on. I wanted to be a footballer. I didn't want to upset her. I don't want to upset my parents, this and that. And I'm like, what the fuck? I had, I had a big, I had a quarter, I call it a quarter life crisis at 25. <laughs> and I had, I had a breakdown in Australia. And I said to Smith, I walked away from uh, a wedding. I was going to get married. I didn't do it. I said, fuck this. I'm not doing this. Um, I said, I was chatting to Smith. All this Dude, what morning. was it? Was there a little, was there an incident that caused you to go fuck this? Or was that? Yeah, I, I, I spent some, I, I came back home to Europe after Australia uh, on my own for once. And it was the first time I've traveled on my own for a very long time. And that was at the age of 24, 25, 25. Yeah. And I was like, fucking hell, I like my own space. Mm. I'm the same. You'd never had it before. And I haven't had it to that. I'd never had it when I had money in my pocket. Yes. Ah, okay. I never had it when I can turn around and go like, you know what? I'm going to go, I, yeah. I want to buy this girl a beer. Yeah. Mm. I want to buy that girl a beer. Like, I've never experienced that. Mm. I've never sat with someone. Don't get me wrong. Like, the thing is, right, you know when you're with someone for such a long time, they stop appreciating your your values. Mm -hmm. That's, yeah. like, they they forget. Yeah. But, right? bro, you, you know, you touched on this, the, the girl thing before. And one of the things I share with my guys is that one of the one of the 
fastest ways to become miserable is trying to live somebody else's values. Exactly. And that's what happens in a lot of relationships is one person who expects the expectations. Yes. They expect somebody else to live their values. So they expect, we get guys in our program, oh, they're meditating now. So they expect the missus to start fucking meditating. Exactly. Start getting in shape. They expect the missus to start to get into fitness and that. Yeah, and then yeah. it just becomes this big fucking clash. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. And, and I felt like ex that was exactly what I was doing. Yeah. And I was like, I was like, shit. I, I sat down. I remember going for a walk, right? This is how the whole Neat Up 24 7 thing happened. <laughs> I was so stressed. Yeah. I was walking my problems away. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I was doing, at one point in Sydney, I was doing, when I was working, I was doing 35 to 40,000 steps a day. Oh, shit. Bro. No wonder I was so fucking lean. <laughs> 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 Do you know what I mean? Wow. And, and I was doing that and I was like, hold on a sec. Like, I want to take this person out. I want to take, I've got money. I want to buy this girl food at a nice restaurant I've mm. never done that and I want that girl to like be happy and excited yeah, yeah, that yeah. she's in a nice restaurant I've never done that yeah. Yeah. and I'm, I missed all that and I was like I need to experience all these things before I get married yeah, so you before eight I'm years, old 17 to 20, uh, before, yeah. from school exactly into, yeah. instead of being that 50 year old that kisses the wife but then goes to the club and pervs on 18 year olds yes. I didn't want to be that yeah yes that's why yeah. I broke that off early. And as sad as it sounds, there'll be guys listening to this going, fucking hell, that's me. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> like, there is. I've yeah. seen it. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. And I remember, like, I had so many clients um, that worked in corporate in Sydney. Mm. And I remember this to be like, Darren, come out with us, this, that. And I'm thinking, fucking hell, bruv. You, man, are mad. How are you? How do you go back to that other lifestyle? Like, yeah. it, it's... Yeah. I don't get it. Yeah. I don't, and I don't want to be that. Yeah, do you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, that's yeah. why yeah. I have, like, I have fucking issues now. I'm like, no, I don't want a label on anyone or anything that I do because I want to get everything out of my system so I can turn around just like the football thing and be like, I squeezed everything out yes. yeah. and now I'm happy where I am. Then when you do exactly. end up want to do, there's no like, oh, well, I, I there's no done thought this. process yes. of that. And I feel like, like you said with the whole, and even today, someone asked me like, Dylan, would you ever get married? I'm like, I don't know. I, I, I feel like I'll treat the person the same whether I've signed... A, Something I don't think it's just something not. you can really say yes or no to, isn't it? Do you know yeah, I mean? I people say it to me, do you think you'll ever retire and shit like that? I'm like, that's... You don't know. Nah. You don't know, so... Uh, it's... What was I talking about the other day? I was saying I don't even know whether I'll be doing... I've got no problem. I was saying to my guy, I think a challenge that people have a lot of the time, right, is that they think when they make a decision, that's got to be it. Like, yes. That's, that, they're, scared, they're scared for it. They're, they're scared of failing but it's really the scale of looking like a failure. So if, I've got no doubt about it. If I don't enjoy doing this podcast in two months, or it's not getting, if I'm not having fun anymore, mm. or if we're not getting fucking great guests, or yeah. if you guys that are listening aren't leaving reviews, aren't going to my website and giving me your email address at paulmo.uk, if you're not buying me fucking book, guess what? I've got no problem just stopping doing it. Yeah. I just, exactly. I've got no problem with that. I remember we got a guy in one of our programs and he had a, he had two businesses. Funny enough, he's an online coach. Yeah. He had a meal prep business and the meal prep business wasn't making any money and he hated it, but he didn't quit it because he said, I'll feel like a failure. <sighs> I said, isn't, aren't you a bigger failure? If you carry on. Yes. Doing something that you hate that's also not making any money. And that's yeah. not me calling anybody that's doing that. Well, I suppose I am. But that's a choice. Like, yeah, but you're doing him a favour. You're doing something that you hate really you think about this because i don't want to look like a failure so essentially i'm doing something that i hate to impress other people exactly like that's yeah. insane to, to me. people that probably don't even like don't, nah. well, they don't even give a fuck <laughs> yeah the, the, one thing that i had to realize very quickly is that most people don't give a fuck no, about they you. don't like they don't they're selfish we think people well they're too busy think worrying about what you think about them exactly Do you know what i mean i heard that ages ago you know and i, I was just like that makes so much sense yeah. you think people are like so glued on you and they just they're thinking about their problems and, yeah. and why people are, they're thinking about that concept to them and yeah. it's me that, yeah. I heard that ages yeah, ago and I was like that makes they're too busy. They're, they're too busy worrying about what you think about them like yeah. it's a uh, and knowing that will have you make very different decisions in your life and I think this is why and I've learned this over the last two two and a half years three years and Smith has actually influenced me with this quite a bit is to be more selfish and I've realised when I've become a little well, bit What you've got to understand, though, as well, is that everything you do is selfish. Well, yeah. So, so we, I talked Leslie about this quite a lot, in that she's just having this coach. She's got this coach working with her, and she's like, oh, Leslie, you, want, you need to take more time for yourself to have, like, bubble baths with candles and that. And I'm thinking, Leslie, you're not going to fucking do that. Because <laughs> they're like, oh, you're so selfless with the kids and that. But you've got to understand that 
Leslie gets something from that. Yeah, exactly. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, So yeah, I think yeah. that actually everything that we do is selfish, even if it's for somebody else because yeah. you feel you feel valued by the other person or you get a sense of significance because that other person said, well done, yeah. or thank you. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. Do you yeah. know what I mean? Like, Leslie's really bad at saying no. She'll yeah. say yes to things. She's like, what the fuck have I said yes to coming here for? Yeah, yeah, I said, yeah. She said, and I'm just like, That's, I need to be more selfish. I'm like, no, the, the decision to say yes was actually selfish because... You didn't want to let them down mm-hmm. because then you would feel a certain. Do you know what I mean? Yes. Everything that we do, self-serving. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. Everything, even if even think, if you don't realize it. Nah. Even oh, I'm t- I'm always running around after other people. I'm so well. You must get something from it. You wouldn't do it. Exactly. Mm-hmm. Even if even if it's you get to tell the story of running around after other people. Yeah, exactly. That's so true. You know that. Even when you know what I've done that before. I'm like, fuck, you know, I've got such a busy day. I'm so yeah. I'm so. But really, I'm like, yeah, man, I've got a busy day today. <laughs> yeah, and I said this to kind of make myself feel Dude, better. It's mad some of the things we say. Yeah, and like, I was like, whenever. I roll. I was saying last night. Actually, I was rolling last night, and uh, shout out Andrew Costello. I was rolling with Andrew Costello, and I told a couple of the other guys. I was like, "Oh, he's like a ninety-five kilo blue belt," and I'm like, "I'm sure he told me he was 90 I'm Just adding an extra five kilos on to make myself sound tougher. <laughs> that's you selling. That's you, know you what selling. I mean? That's me selling. I'm adding an extra five kilos on. Sorry about that, Andrew. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> if you listen as well, yeah, 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 yeah. it doesn't matter. We do that. Oh, yeah. might an extra. We might add an extra thousand pound on how much money you make a year. Yeah. It's mad how we tell yeah. those little lies, isn't it? Yeah, I know, and that's it's quite, crazy. But I feel like you can. No one cares. No one cares. And yeah. I think that is the that is the biggest problem. Like you have to keep reminding yourself that no one cares. I get so many like of my female clients that go into the gym and be like, dude, yeah, I'm scared yeah. to go into the free weights area. I'm like, listen, Karen. Listen, Karen. Karen. Linda. Linda, are you listening? <laughs> Linda. I love the way you shifted Linda. from a Karen to a Linda. Linda, oh. I went from, you know that yeah, kid, I love it. Linda. I love it. Linda. Linda, listen. Listen, Linda. <laughs> I don't know what you guys are talking about. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I'll show you. It's a meme. It's a meme. I'll show you. It's but it's like, anyone in the gym is too busy looking in the mirror and like instead of focusing on yeah. you anyway, so why are you worried about your form? Yeah. Just call her on the phone these days. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, it's, exactly. Uh, there, was, there was a um, a P, PT actually last round our way, and I learned this kind of trick a while ago because e- everyone in our town was talking about I should just started this business. It was like it was before people start like not people. Start, do I know? But, uh, you might do. I'll name drop after, but. Um, <laughs> And and it, like I mean, everyone our age was talking about it. And like the next day, what was the it's business? like, was it like only fans. No, no, it was just, <laughs> just a PT. But like it was, it's because we were coming out of school. Uh, no one had really started their own business, and it was their yeah, own yeah. like own brand. Yes. Yeah, everyone was talking about it. And then literally like two days later, no one was talking about it. And it's just like news travels so quickly yeah. that yeah, yeah, no yeah. one gives a shit. You just gotta write it out. I mean, look at the guy, that nutrition guy who had all that shit go down last year. Which one? The the, the pervert one. It was like he was a toucher. Oh, and then it just. Oh yeah, you know yeah, what yeah, I mean? yeah, 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 yeah. You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, yeah, James, yeah, yeah. James fucking yeah, yeah, loves yeah. him, doesn't he? Yeah, loves yeah, his yeah. shit. Yeah, yeah. But yeah. that was all over the place, and then now everyone's forgot yeah. about it. Exactly. Yeah. You know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. It's because people's lives, and I also think just people's attention spans are yeah. really short. Mine's like around. three seconds, man. By the time I go to an app, and if it doesn't load, I'm already on the next. Ah, <laughs> oh, bro, I'm terrible. <laughs> I'm so I'm bad. Like, I only came on to track me macros. Yeah. And then I haven't even done it yet because yeah, I've gone on yeah, someone yeah, else. Yeah. It's crazy. I'll chat to someone. They're like, Dylan, I just told you yesterday. I'm like, oh, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, I remember. I yeah. don't remember. It's mad, isn't it? <laughs> I don't remember. I'm the same. I think that's why I was so shit at school. What were you like in school? Were you? Oh, Arsehole. shit. I was so shit. Arsehole. Oh, shit. The, the problem that I've got is it's not really a problem. If me mom's list, I almost said mum. <laughs> Mark, Mark's like, Paul, you're changing. You keep saying mum. We say mama. Eh? Yeah, yeah, we yeah. We say yeah. mum all the time. And I said to him a day, what we're going to do for dinner? In, in in Newcastle, South Shields, like dinner's lunch. Oh, is it? And dinner on a night time is tea. Oh, is it? But I'm oh, I'm okay. obviously a, I'm obviously a man of the I'm a multicultural man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm a, I'm a cosmopolitan man. Yeah, well, you're so American. Use, <laughs> <laughs> you're a yank. But I am a yank. My dad's a yank. Yeah, but yeah it's a, it's it, my my mum is telling. Said it again. Me mum. Ma, me ma is me ma, telling it. my kids how bad I was in school. I'm like, mum, don't tell them that. Yeah. You don't need to tell them I was bad in school because now, guess what? They want to be like their dad. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? I was a little arsehole in school, but mainly, I figured out why it is now. Yeah. I was good in the things that I like doing. I'm yeah. exactly the same now. Yeah. If I'm not interested in something, I'm not going to fucking do it. Yeah. And yeah. if you notice with the things that we do and people that do similar stuff to what we do, yes. is that's all we do. Yeah. 
anything we don't want to do we're like could have tried harder could be you're very smart but could try harder yeah, everyone's yeah. had that fucking school yeah, report yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah mine was like it's weird I say this in my talks like the only things I pass are French and Spanish really because there was an oral exam bro yeah <laughs> that was a right. very that was a wink sorry wink I was just saying not that, not that I'm right. amazing at oral we've got to zoom into that we've got to zoom into that <laughs> I remember one of my school reports, it was like my sister got out, my sister was like shaking her head. Is this sister older than you? She's older than me, but she used to translate for my parents, obviously. Cause like from a young age, like my mum and dad didn't speak, they still don't speak fluent English, what? they do. Yeah, but like they can get by. But say like borrow English. But, huh? Borrow English. English. Borrow, yeah, exactly. Yeah, like, uh... And like, so my sister would translate everything. So it was like, uh, Diren can't pay attention to anything. All he does is talk to the girls in the class. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, yes. <laughs> yes, come on. <laughs> but yeah. Imagine if you had an argument with your sister, just started totally translated it differently. Diren's a prick. Oh, yeah, always maybe. misbehaves. That'll be accurate, to be fair. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, but it's weird. Like, my, my uh, at school for me, it's even like, it's crazy how it's like that now. Like, if I'm not interested, I'm not even going to... F- it's terrible, really. I'm yeah. not even going to try. It's not, though. But, like, why would you do something? It just means I didn't... Do. It's Even now, I'm like, I don't value that. My personal values don't go there. Yeah. So we had Leslie on the other week doing... Um, she did a training for the guys in my program on cash flow forecasting. And just looking at those numbers, I'm like, that's not for me. So we sat in, in our in our, in our training room. Yeah. And I'm sitting next to her on this Zoom call. And I'm trying to... I can feel my body wanting to get out of the seat. <laughs> In the middle of a live call, I might need a, I need a move. What am I like in a meeting? Oh, I don't so value close. meetings. Yeah, yeah. So we have meetings, and I, I honestly, I must disappear out of the boardroom. He has about... four shits in the space <laughs> of half an hour. Because I don't value. I hear. Oh, I want to just crack. I want to just get going. That was. I'm me not a fan in of school. planning. Is it? Yeah, that was. No, I don't school. like plan. I'm just like, let's just fucking go, no, go, let's go. Do it. Let's do it. Yeah. So it's um, it's like that. But it, it's also you think about this now, we'll probably be diagnosed with ADHD. Yeah, probably. We'll be. I will yeah. be diagnosed ADD, but the, the and I'm still like that now. But what I've realised is that it's selective. Yeah. Selective. You give a kid Fortnite who's got ADD, suddenly he hasn't got it anymore. Yeah, that's Ooh. true. Yeah. Put him in a sport, suddenly he's not ADD anymore. Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah. We'll have selective deficit disorder. We'll have selective attention deficit disorder, I think. Yeah, yeah 100%. It makes sense, doesn't it? Yeah. That's, and I think that's why... And I did a, Actually, I did this video in your kitchen when I did the video about happiness and that. Oh, yeah. People just don't know yeah. this shit. They don't know. Like, they just don't know. They don't know what they love doing. Yeah. Or, it's because they don't try. And often, Darren, you got to understand that when you, our whole culture, our whole like society is you go to school, you get your grades, you yeah. maybe go to college, you maybe go to university, yeah. you meet a bird, you get married, you have kids, done. Mm. That's your life it's, over. It's, 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 it's the constant, what is the next step? Yeah. Yeah, yeah you, you were talking about that on your on, on your, my story. On your video, yeah. yeah, it was like, what is the next step? And yeah. it's like, people feel forced to do the next step. So you sacrifice all this shit that you love doing. Yeah. Because you you think you've got to follow that path mm-hmm. because of what society makes you. Feel. Bro, I did that. I went into a job. You'll have done it. I went into a job. I couldn't get another job, which was part of the reason I worked in that factory for four years, because that's what I thought you had to do. Yeah, My dad yeah. was like, "Come and serve your apprenticeship here. Yeah. Do your apprenticeship." I mean, I was talking to Matt the other day about this. There's a lad there, Chris. You got bearing in mind, I was 17 when yeah. I went into this apprenticeship. The dude still works there now. Shit. Yeah. Snap. Yeah. Isn't that crazy? That's mad. 30, not 23 years. Oh. And and by the way, that takes some consistency and commitment. Yeah. He, but he clearly lo- loves that. Or maybe values, he doesn't love it. Values security. But he values security. Yeah. He I, don't, I actually like, I say this all the time, I value a bit of risk and chaos. Yeah. yeah. I like that. It's the buzz, isn't it? If it, doesn't, like it, it is that. It it's is the that. Buzz. It's like, the buzz. Yeah. I, I remember I started this podcast. I think me and Leslie may have talked about this on a podcast. But I started the podcast because I remember in lockdown, we had a couple of great months where everything was just yeah. automated, systemized, predictable. And Leslie's like, you're bored, aren't you? Yeah. I was like, I'm, I'm a bit bored. And it's not that I'm not working hard. I'm still working hard, but it was a bit predictable and a bit routine, routine. And I think routine's important. Rituals are important, but I don't... You need like the odd swerve ball, don't you? The, odd just the way I describe it is I'll build something. And then I need to break the end off it and then build it even bigger. Does that make sense? It does make complete yeah. sense. So I'll start building it. It'll be going well. And then I'll leave Because in the past, I've just burned shit to the ground. Be like, yeah. fuck this. I don't want to do this anymore. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I've just, just done this with Email Domination Academy. I'm like, I'm going to break that end off. I think Let's build something else on it. I think what it is. Chaos. What I've realized is the chaos. And it's the, you got to understand that we're, 
problem solvers. Yeah, that's exactly. We're problem yeah. solvers. Yeah. So we're trying to solve a problem. After you solve it, you're like, where's well, the next yeah, fucking yeah, problem? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Where's it. the next problem? That's it. I've solved this already. Yeah, that is it. Do you that know is what I mean? it. So she said to me, what do you want to do? I said, I'll tell you what I want. I feel I need to satisfy my ego. <laughs> like, like, yeah. I feel I need something to satisfy my ego. Because we're making good I've money. I've noticed that as well. Yeah, we're it's making good. good money, yeah. We're making good money. I'm like, right, I need something to satisfy my ego. Let's get some more followers. Yeah. Here's what I want. I want a podcast. And by podcast, I mean fucking serious not pissing around, yeah. doing one every now and again podcast. I want ballers on this thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Notice this prick hasn't said thank you yet. <laughs> but I, I want to... I'm I, a little baller. I said I want to do a podcast, but I want to do it properly. I want to go all in on it. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. obviously, like, we've done it pro Like, yeah. basically, I've had to free up a load of time. We had to employ somebody to do half of Mac's job so he could do this. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. So I said, like, I want to do that. She's like, cool, what else? Said, That's not enough. I said, I want a book deal. Yeah. So obviously, but then yeah. we're in the process of getting them um, that done name and no names yet. Yeah. But yeah, um, and that's it. That's because I thrive in that. It's almost like the chase. Me, it's it's but like it's, the chase. We talk about this with girls. The exciting part isn't when you land it. It's when you chat them up. It's, it's when you. It's when you. Convert. When you're not sure. That's right. See, some people don't like that level of uncertainty, but. I think a lot of guys listen to this, particularly self-employed guys. Yeah. That's what we do. I just think they haven't tried it. Like this. the thrill. Yeah. I, we like the thrill. We like, yeah. You could almost call it an adrenaline rush. Yeah, it is. Like, I'm constantly seeking another high. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, this, is, this, this is why I can't do drugs. If I did drugs, I would fucking be addicted, bro. Mm. <laughs> yeah. Legit. I'd yeah. be addicted because yeah. I'd be like, I know I'd love it. Yeah. Look, I said this when, when we, we, me and you have talked about this when I said was doing coke off me fucking, I was doing lines of coke on me desk before I do like a coaching call and that. Mad. Like this really? is 2015, uh, 2015. I was I was going on a fucking Zoom call talking about email and shit, and I'd be I'd just had a fucking big line. That's how fucked up I was. Really? And that's that's what got me into boxing. Okay, yeah. Because I'm like nothing compares to I'm just an adrenaline junkie, if you like. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I'm an adrenaline junkie, yeah, so yeah. I've gone from coke to boxing. That's I suppose what got me into jujitsu. Yeah, that's why we love jits. Thrills. Yeah. Yeah. Just all these thrills and business feels like that for me as well. Yeah, that's why I burned so many at the ground. I mean, I sold the business. Back in twenty January twenty fifteen, that was very successful. Yeah. Because I was like, I built this thing, now I'm yeah. bored. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And when I was bored, that's when I was doing all the fucking mad shit. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Now when I'm bored, I just start a podcast. Yeah, but it just shows it's, weird, it's, weird. <laughs> it's a little bit more. A little, it's bit, a little bit less destructive. A <laughs> little bit less destructive. Do you, do you realize uh, when do you think when you're bored and when you were bored, you had money, right? Loads of money. So more than I knew what to do with. Really? Yeah. And it and it just shows that money doesn't bring that. Yeah. And 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 dude, there's a guy from as a guy from our town, it's not an affluent town at all. Yeah. Two GCSEs. My mum worked in Asda. My dad worked in that factory that I was talking about for 30 something years. Oh, you showed it to me. Yeah. I yeah, I have. Yeah, shit all. Yeah, 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 shit all. Yeah. And 30 odd years, like, like he worked there. So I've never experienced money. Yeah. I didn't know anything about investing. Yeah. So I was like, well, I, I didn't have the thrill of business anymore because I'd built this thing. It wasn't exciting anymore. Yeah. I was scared to speak on the stage. One scared, but I'd spoken on the stage before. And I used to have just have a that, that was a thrill for me. That still is a big thrill. It's still my favorite thing to do. Yeah, yeah. Put me on a stage, give me no slides, and I fucking thrive on that. <laughs> yes. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. I thrive on that yeah, shit. Yeah, yeah. But I didn't have that then either. Yeah. Because I used to have the massive high, and then I'd have the come down. Yeah. So that's why I was doing so much coke. I was just topping my. Yeah. I was almost topping my adrenaline up. Now yeah. I do that in different ways. Yeah. I. I I think I had that last year, the year before, yeah. when I was like quite nervous going yeah. on stage and stuff. But yeah. now I actually can't wait till Smith's next tour because I open the shows and I'm like, I can't fucking wait. He's got all the pressure, by the way. Huh? He's got all the pressure, hasn't he? But this is this is what he was telling me. He goes, fuck, Darren, you're going out there being funny and better than me. He's like, yeah. I've got to chase that up. I've got to chase that up. Because before it wasn't like that because yeah. I was more nervous and yes. stuff. But now it's wicked. And that's just a prime example of how you help each other grow. Yeah. yeah. Right, and I feel like see that pressure when we first did do the tours, and when we did when I was speaking on like stage or whatever it was. Yeah. When I did that, when I do that, and you go back home, yeah, it's and weird. it's nothing but walls. Yeah, dude, you're it's a weird. Fucking nobody. Yeah, I've all said this before. You'll <laughs> go from I go from speaking at Wembley, and then on the Monday I'm just the dad who hasn't emptied the fucking dishwasher. And, and yeah. I get a fucking round of applause. We got what were the selfies like, and that was mad. Like it was my. Even at IFS, I'd spoke, I've spoke all over the world, fucking Hollywood, Vegas, yeah, yeah, yeah. all over. And it's, at IFS last year, that was my first experience of Paul can have a selfie. Yeah. It, comes, it was weird as it's fuck. It's mad, didn't it? And you were one of the first ones. Yeah. <laughs> 
Standard, standard. <laughs> but, yeah. but it was it's, it was strange. I mean, it was amazing at the same time. Leslie wasn't a massive fan of it, by the way. When, so, it was, when there was hot girls, like, yeah, 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 can yeah, I have yeah. a selfie? Leslie would say, who the fuck's that? <laughs> <laughs> and she's not jealous at all. But then at Wembley, it was the same. So you're going from taking all these selfies to so, just the guy that hasn't emptied the, hasn't put the bins out on the right day. But now, now, now put yourself in a position of someone that is a Hollywood star. Oh, bro, the yeah. ones that do uh, commit suicide and that. Yeah. I feel like after that experience of the craziness of the tour... Dude, like, that's the crazy shit about coronavirus, by the way. I'm like, yeah. footballers and shit. Yeah. I watched this thing. It was about LA Rams and LA Chargers, because San Diego Chargers moved to LA. Yeah. It was all these American footballers in coronavirus, like, isolated. And I'm like, for them... They pretty much live with all these dudes, yeah, twenty four fucking seven, and now yeah. they're on their own. So I'm like, wow, it must be tough. Exactly. But football hasn't that must have been hard because they're in each other's pockets, each other's pockets all the time. Feed off each other as well. Yeah, yeah, that banter. And then you also go from being in a crowd where fifty thousand people are potentially screaming your name, yes, mm. to no one screaming mm. your name. Now. Yeah, you feel like, but that's legit happened. That's what. That's exactly what happened. Yeah, that's exactly what happened. Yeah, and I feel like when I got that slight drop and that down feeling after, yeah, after a big the night out I was like fucking hell I'm like a nobody yeah. imagine what someone like dude I, I remember know. when we James did that thing in London I think it was December and I came to London do you remember that yeah, I didn't it was even seven, see you it was like, yeah I saw you crazy. for like 10 minutes because you were just getting fucking pulled left right and centre it was mad and there was yeah. like I think there was 1200 people there so imagine dude, that was that's when crazy. I went in there because I came from I think we'd been somewhere haven't we London. When I went to James's thing. Oh, we'd been to Wembley, and then you went to go meet him. At, was that the Cage Warriors night? Oh no, that was, no, this, no, no. Is, that was this is James's event. tour. That was oh, the event. James had this thing in it, in fucking Albert Hall or something, wasn't it? London, this was the London Live. It was in, You were there, Paul. Uh, Paulie Paul was, was, was there. Sven was there. Sven was there. Yeah. And I went. We went. We went on this night. I'd only seen him for about ten minutes. No, well, Didn't see James at all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You don't. You yeah. Because you were taking selfies all the time. So it's when we and then we were at Wembley, and then we got all the selfies at Wembley, and then you just go home and. But I think I'm just thinking at one point is there going to be a point where like you can't do that? And I feel like for me that that's where the buzz will go for me. Yeah. I like dude, I like interacting with people and seeing that. I think that's the best bit. Like yeah. see someone even asking a selfie off me or whatever, or even just stopping me. Like, I was in the gym uh, yesterday morning, yeah. and these two girls were looking over and they came over and asked for a selfie, and I was yeah. like, "This is so fucking cool." Yeah. And I wasn't even motivated for that session. Yeah. After that. I had the session on my life. Did I was it? like, it just motivated me. Yeah. I was like, this is such an amazing feeling. So if you make that big jump and you go to that status where you're like a Hollywood star or whatever it is, yeah. you can't go outside. What's next? Imagine being Beckham. Like, do you not, Beckham do you can't not, walk around. Uh, I guess, yeah. I'm like it, Because I, I actually, I was thinking about this the other day. And do you not think it's how the person like, kind of handles the situation. Oh, dude, if, you, if, you make it, like, if, situation. if you make it such a premium thing yeah. to kind of see you have all these bodyguards and stuff, then when people do see you, they're like, oh, well, I've got to go see him. But if they were just walking around... Yeah. But then, again, on a scale of that, like Beckham and stuff... Yeah, like, imagine that. I, I, don't think I think the challenge that you have is it's, it's almost like, do you make that selfie thing you're almost I always say this to my guys you can't compare every day to your best day yeah. it's one of the hardest things to do yeah, yeah, you can't yeah. compare every session to your best session Yeah. because you're never gonna you may never hit that level again yeah. Yeah. you know what I mean and I'm sure you've had that in a fight when you've won yeah, a fight yeah. and then you're straight back imagine this winning a fight and then back in the office with me on your case <laughs> imagine that yeah, Matt have you done this Matt have you done by that? delegation <laughs> <laughs> drive by that's my favourite thing Matt have you done this he's like what are you talking about? You didn't even tell me to do it. I mean, I fucking shout, did. Shout if I'm having a shit on the toilet. Yeah. Back, back. back. <laughs> but you're, you're becoming a track athlete now, no? Vanilla Gorilla on the 400 metres. Uh, I love it. Oh. Yeah, it's a, a, it's, a, it's a funny thing that, like, they're comparing your best day to every day to your best day. I think so many people do that. Yeah. You're never going to match it. Yeah. And I think that you've and you got to appreciate You've it. almost got to find out the middle ground. Do you know what I mean? Because I said to Leslie, yes, is we have this strange feeling right now that something's going to go wrong. I'm okay with it. Why? Because things are going well. Things have been going so well. We've yeah. been moving from one height to the next. So we had an amazing event in July. Yeah. They made another an amazing event a few weeks ago. Then we've had podcasts blow up and then we've just confirmed some more amazing guests and then yeah, yeah. we've been... Um, what else is going on? We've got this fucking book deal going down. We're getting booked for gigs abroad. Yeah. We've got this quarterly, holiday going. December quarterly. We've got, yeah, December quarterly. We've got this Dubai trip. We're beating a Corfu and I'm like, 
I'm very well aware that right now something's going to happen yeah. that just keeps me grounded a little bit. And that's why I won't get too caught up in the negatives anymore because I'm like... I know what that thing is. It, it's just going to... I know what that what, thing was is. was it? It's going to be me choking you the fuck out. <laughs> 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 Giving you that white belt. Good luck with that. Good luck with that. <laughs> luck with that. James, uh, J- I, I listened to the Fair Points podcast and James explained it pretty well. It's like this kind of baseline and the, the highs that always come back. Like if you buy a car... Yeah. It's going to get to a point where it comes back to normal, and I think yeah, that, yeah. I like think the, was, that buzz wears off, the the buzz with the car wears off quite quickly. He yeah. was uh, he was describing it. I think he was describing like anxiety and depression, and saying that like their baseline is lower yeah, yeah, than yeah. the average. Yeah, but that, I feel like no matter what high you have, it's always going to you go on to return back to normal. Yeah. But the yeah. thing the thing with that is, I remember when I was like not happy, I was buying shit that yeah. I did not need. For that small buzz, dude. Yeah. That happened. By the way, that um, you look at me stuff people are buying over lockdown and shit. Yeah, you do that. I did I that. Know. Yeah, people were buying. I was. Did you ever do a panic buy during lockdown? Like not a panic buy. Like oh, a, oh, the, yes. the world is not Oh, my, we, we were talking about this the other day. <laughs> toilet roll pasta. <laughs> you get all that? Oh, dude, yeah. We were. In, yeah. We, I remember, like our town's such a small place that yeah, it's very like things catch on like wildfire. Yeah, 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 yeah. we were going to like because you couldn't get it from Asda, Morrison's, Tesco, yeah. couldn't get them. So we'd be going to, like, little corner shops. <laughs> little corner shops and getting, like, the shittest toilet roll. Yeah. You know the stuff that's, like, fucking sandpaper on your ass. Yeah. Yeah, we still got it. But see, you did that. <laughs> when everyone was panicking, did you see me do that video in Bali where I was naked? There was the bum gun. Oh, because you were away, right? So, yeah, I was away. So I had the bum gun in Bali. So I was like, nothing to worry about when COVID happens. I've got the bum gun. What's the bum gun? <laughs> Is that the thing you squat on? In Asia. You'll see it in Dubai. The oh, the, gun, I don't, yeah, I don't call it that the shower yeah. thing. I was like, worst case, oh, bro. Just invest in one of them. I, I absolutely love getting my kids with that. <laughs> it's my favorite thing. They're like, Dad, will you, you wipe me bum? bum with it? Yeah, Dad, will you wipe me bum? And I, they love it when I get them with it. I think it's hilarious. Guess what? That video got just under two million views on Facebook. Did it? Imagine that. The what? dumbest video. Dumbest That's shit. crazy, isn't it? Yeah, do the bum. I love the bum gun. The bum guns are yeah. good. I remember once I went to Thailand, probably about fifteen years ago now. Me and Leslie went to Thailand for a month. And we went on this train. It's called the night train. It goes from Bangkok to somewhere. It was, it was fucking Phuket or Krabi or something. And you basically get on this train. Funny enough, the rooms are a bit like this. They've got bunk beds in them. And you sleep in them. And in the, the toilet, you basically, there's a hole, hole in the floor of the train. Yeah. You just drop your shit through there and you just shower your arsehole. Oh. Yeah. I experienced that in Turkey, my dad's village. When it was like, really? I was, like, I was like to my nan who was staying at some, like my dad's relative in the yeah. village. I was like, where's the toilet? They go, it's outside. I was like, what do you mean it's outside? It's outside in like a box. Yeah. And you take a shit and it's like, <laughs> you see this shit. For- yeah, it's a long haul. But then I was like, what is that moving down there? Like the chickens were going. Really? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I was like, what Picking the- up that corn, bro. Yeah. Getting on the corn. <laughs> Getting on the corn. <laughs> Chicken on the corn. Chicken on the corn. You heard that oh, song? Yeah, Chicken yeah. on the corn. Yeah. In the corn. That, that, I know where that song comes that. from now. You guys yeah. are too young. It's one, uh, one string... Banji or something he's called. I'll show you. I've got so much you got, shit to show yeah, you. You guys are showing me all the young boys. <laughs> all that. the young shit keeping me young. How, how old are you? 40. 20. 40 in. And old, old enough to be my dad. Old enough to be his dad. How crazy is that? <laughs> so I'm, I'm, I'm 40 as we're It's the 2nd of December. 2nd of September, right? 25 days. Shit. 40, yeah, it's crazy. 12 years older than me, baby. That's crazy, isn't it? Uncle Paul Moore. Uncle That's why I call you uncle. uncle. I'm definitely old enough to be your uncle, bro. Yeah. I'm old enough to be his dad in Nancy. That's mad. I think I'm the oldest blue belt that Alex is... I'm, I think I might be the oldest guy that Alex has given a blue belt to. Think of anyone? I can't think of anyone in that gym that's older than me. Right. Oh, how was that feeling, by the way? Oh, bro. We haven't even talked about it. Have no. you get emo- did you get I emotional? I think this is the first podcast from it, isn't it? It, it is. Uh, well, we did those three last week. Yeah, but it's the first one that I've really talked on. Did you get it before that? Huh? Did you? Oh, no, I didn't. No, you didn't. You got it after. When did we record? No, that was last week. Yeah, well, that was last yeah, week. Yeah, it was last week. week. I remember coming. Yes, last Saturday. It was, um, well, the whole story is, um, I didn't think, I thought I was literally just going to get beaten up in this session. So Coach Alex texted me, he said, let's roll tomorrow at nine o'clock. And I thought it was like an off the book session, like okay, yeah, squad. Yeah. yeah. But he said, just me and you in the gi. And I'm like, no, he's going to fuck because he's horrible. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I thought he's just going to fucking punish me, maybe for having the guys in the laundrette or whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And then he, uh, the, you know, the worst part. What? He did a uh, what's that judo throw called? You know the judo throw where he takes yeah, on yeah, yeah, yeah. It's got like a Japanese name. The hip, the hip, yeah, the hip yeah, toss. Yeah, 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 the hip yeah. toss. Yeah. The kids call it toss the giant when they learn. Okay. It. Toss the giant. He slammed me on the floor with that, and then put me straight in it. Do you know what a scarf hold is? Yeah. 
Scarfold. Yeah, you yeah. put me in a Scarfold. We might get that on them tomorrow. <laughs> Kept me there for, and I looked for the clock and it wasn't there. Oh. That was one of the worst feelings I've ever had. <laughs> Literally looking up with rolling with Alex and the fucking clock wasn't there. And then uh, I know I did actually notice that he was leaving little opportunities for me to take things that. Yeah. Do you know like he's big on if you're on top, never stand up. He's like, if you're on top, if you stand up, you're giving them a chance to stand up. Yeah. So yeah. And if you're on your bottom, because it's MMA, Al Jim. Yeah, yeah. So if you're on the bottom, you can look for subs and that, but ideally, get the fuck up. Okay, yeah. Like, he hates turtle, he hates all that shit. It's like, get the fuck up or you're going to get punched. So he, he gave me an opportunity to stand up, and I'm like, because he's big on a blue belt stand up. Two guys failed. Two guys didn't get the blue belt last year because they couldn't do a technical stand up. Okay, yeah. You know, when you stand up so you can't get kicked in the face, he's yeah, big yeah, on yeah. that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he left that for us, and I'm like, ooh, this is interesting. Yeah. And then I forgot about it because I was getting smashed. Oh, and then okay. he put a blue belt on me, and I didn't know. Oh, he did one of them. He That's that. sick. Yeah, he did sick. that, but it was awful because there was only me and him there. Okay. Adam Proctor, who's fighting for the Cage Warriors World title on the 26th, he was watching. That was it. Oh, so sick. it was uh, it, it, it was totally unexpected. Yeah. Totally unexpected. I think that's, that's when it, like when I got mine, it's, that's how it happened. And it's weird, like you feel... I did well, dude, I was buzzed because it's been a goal for a long time. He knew I wanted it. I, it was my goal for the year to get that. But that's... It's I been think, weird since I, I think got when it, you right? when you cross over to Blue Belt, you go from, hey, yeah, I do jiu-jitsu, to, hey, I'm a Blue Belt martial artist yeah. in jiu-jitsu. Because now you're in that well, zone where you, like, you, you can't back off now. You need to level. Yeah. Like when you roll with a white belt now or you roll with another Blue Belt now, you realise that, you get this superpower where you're like, I've got the power. A bit more, the you belt. feel a little bit more confident. Yeah, you I've do. I've noticed, even in just a week, I've been all right with being in side control or something. Yeah, I'm like, yeah, yeah. I'm just going to make a small decision here. Yeah. I've been monging it less. You know what the confidence is like? It's like when you make a bit of money. Yeah. Yeah, it is. <laughs> it's it it that is. confidence. It is, huh? You, get a bit, you make a it's bit weird. of money. It's like Dude, for the first bit. week, I really wrestled with it. It was super weird. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. I got brought back down to earth on the Monday. I got fucking smashed. He, yeah. he was 195 kilos. <laughs> Andrew, oh, 190, 195 kilos. I had 105 on it. Oh, yeah. He killed me. I, yeah. He killed me. And I, it, I just it wrestled it for a week. But my favourite thing about being a blue belt, as I remember Alex saying, he said, for me to give someone a blue belt, I have to know that in a street situation... You can handle him. You can handle almost like a normal guy you can yeah. handle them with ease yeah, yeah I yeah. love that like it I was is. like oh yeah but imagine though you know what and as corny as it sounds like doing a martial art especially jiu-jitsu most street fights will end up on the floor yeah it will save your life yeah, yeah. It will save your life. You yeah. you come across someone that's trying to attack you and they know zero jiu jitsu. Yeah, 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 yeah. They have the they have zero <laughs> ability yeah. to even handle what you're doing. Yeah, yeah. Do that's the funny the thing though. He's like on it, he, but... he's a, Mitch. There's a guy called Mitch Dobbins. He's he's he still hasn't had his first pro fight, but he's for Cage Warriors uh, like academy or something. He yeah, Mitch, yeah, yeah. and he was saying last weekend he said he was he, he had a beginner's jiu jitsu like a solo drills class, and I went along. It was a bit of a uh, just to get some technique shit in practice my bridging and shrimping and that yeah, yeah. and he said listen he, he was talking about takedowns and that he said if I'm in a group there's no way I'm taking someone on the floor yeah. he said because the mates will start fucking kicking you in the head oh, okay. he said but if it's a one I'm on straight now yeah. I'm taking it straight yeah 100% yeah, yeah, which yeah. is interesting I, I, I'd never heard that before yeah. like if it's a group of guys yeah. don't take someone on the floor well, have you ever have you ever even thought about it? you know when someone someone pulls a gun? Yeah. If someone pulled a gun on you, yeah. what do you know, people, from, we don't have guns in you. No, no, but like, it's but not like, London, no, 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 it's not no, the but, fucking but, ends. But, but think about it's this. Not the ends. If I pulled a gun on you, yeah. what's your first instinct? What's your what would you do? Probably push your hand. Up. Okay, you're a martial artist, but someone else would go run. Oh, but and I see. I don't think the like a, a, you can't run from a gun. But this is what I'm saying. Unless it's a corner. But people, their natural instinct would be to. I'm going this. Hands up! Hands up! Hands up! Hands up! Hands up, bro. <laughs> hands up. We'll turn around and run when really yeah. you want to be as close as you yeah, can. Yeah, yeah, you know exactly. What I mean? You want yeah. as close and the gun pointing away from you. Away from you. Yeah. Where some people might just turn around and run. It's just like oh, okay. bang, 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 easy, bang. Easy, you know what I mean? Shoot. Yeah. I feel like those sort of things. Uh, when you do a martial art, you, you your brain starts thinking differently. Mm. Yeah. With situations. Yeah. You've yeah. probably been in situations now where you're like, right, if this guy did something, oh, I'm like an arm drag, single I have sometimes case. when I'm in it, when I'm like, if I'm out for food and I'm a bit bored, I'm like, shit kicked off here. What would I do? What really? Yeah, I'm, I'm oh, always, shit. Yeah, I'm always thinking, I'm just like, do I practice on Leslie all the time? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I remember, I, remember oh, I think I mentioned it on another podcast, we flew to uh, Corfu. And on the way there, I've got to keep busy. So I'm watching this Gordon Ryan instructional. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Where he's shown how to shut down, you know, the underhook when someone's on the bottom from half yeah, guard, yeah, the underhook. Yeah, yeah. How to shut that down. Yeah. And as soon as I got there, I'm, I'm making notes and that. As soon as I got there in the hotel, I said, Leslie, just lie there for a second. <laughs> <laughs> 
Just like, just like that for a second. And then I've used that on you, have not. She, got, she got excited. You came with jujitsu. <laughs> <laughs> I did. I, uh, uh, she had to practice the triple leg takedown because I had a raging hard on. <laughs> <laughs> the triple leg takedown. I, have you tried this choke before, Leslie? <laughs> You're That's, getting fucked when you're back. Yeah, uh, she, 100%. She, there's no way she's listening to this. Unless you tell her, you Ma- can't. Ma- I'm going to tell her. Ma- Max, that. Edit yeah. this I'm going to make the little slip. Maybe doing a timestamp. <laughs> doing a timestamp. Make sure you go straight in in like 60 minutes or something. Oh, I love cool. it. So, so dude, what, what, um, let's talk about this jujitsu thing. How did you get into jujitsu? Um, so, basically, when I was first working in Fitness First yeah. in Australia, I was 19 years old and there was an MMA fighter in there. Yeah. And um, he was like, have you... I didn't know what jiu-jitsu was. Yeah. I just knew MMA. So many people that still don't know what it they is. still now. don't know. I think it's huge now compared yeah. to what it was before, but a lot of people yeah. are like, I, 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 there's some guys in the bodybuilding gym, we have to walk through a bodybuilding gym, they're like, oh, you're going to roll around in your pajamas, are you? Oh, like, my fuck. God. But Dude, imagine if they stepped on a mat. Anytime no you chance. want, bro, yeah. You're still no going to roll chance. around your, your little underpants where you're made of Jody yeah. Shaw. Like, I come in that, anytime you want, bro. See, that's that's insecurities, right? Yeah, oh, of course it, it is. Because when they know, they jump. But did you know, it's an interesting thing. I used to talk shit about things that I didn't understand. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So if you, even a few years ago, I talked shit about yoga. It's for yeah. fucking menopausal women. Yeah. I talked shit about fucking meditation. It's for fucking hippies and monks. Yeah, yeah. I talked shit about um, uh, Instagram. Yeah. I've probably talked smack about Instagram loads yeah. of times. I know, I've yeah. talked shit about You talk smack about podcasts? I until you started about, doing one. I talk about smack about podcasts because I didn't... Get people it. always, it's easier to do that than it is to try and understand it, innit? Of course, of course, yeah. of course. So, yeah. so yeah, I was... Um, so, the MMA fighter was there and I was I was 19 years old. He said, have you ever done like any jiu-jitsu or something? He's like, let me give you a one-to-one. So, he was a brown belt. So, I did some no-gi for a few sessions. That's why I first saw it and I was like, this yeah. is sick. But I was, too con- I was concentrating on football too much. Yeah. So, I didn't have time to do that at all. But then, 25, me and Smith went to Bali. So I started doing it properly first time in a gi when I was 25. Oh, bro, I bet that's Bali. hot. I bet that's hot in a gi so in Bali. Hot. It was so hot. Yeah. But the conditioning went through the roof. Yeah. And then I got fucking addicted. Yeah. yeah. You get addicted. Yeah, you do. Yeah. Like, the, I love striking as well. Yeah. But the, it's weird, isn't it? It's like as soon as I get a good grip and I grab someone, I'm like slowly creeping up yeah. their back. And this sounds real sexual. Yeah. <laughs> but I'm like, do you <laughs> Well, I think that's what it is. Anyway. <laughs> there's blood down there. So there's a twitch. Yeah. And I was like, after I got into it, I was like, fucking hell, finally, after football, I can concentrate bro, on something else. Because Bro, that's it. That's it. That's it. That was a big thing for me because I remember one of the things that I did in building my business the first time around was I sacrificed all my hobbies, yeah. all my time, my mental health, my physical health. And then I remember coming back from Marbella, I was like, you know what? I'm going to try and play football again. Yeah. I hadn't played for seven years. Yeah. Football. And I loved it. Then I got a fucking bucket handle tear of my fucking meniscus. Oh. So I fucked my knee. Kept Sounds fucking locking horrible. out and shit. It was disgusting. My, my knee kept locking out and shit. And But I, I, I went back and played again and I loved it. Yeah. But I'd be fucked for like four days after. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then I realised, actually, do you know what I love about football? I love football. Even though I'm a Sunderland fan, so it's harsh. <laughs> but I love football. I love the banter. Yes. And I love the physical. Yeah. I love that physical aspect of it and the yeah. crack. Yeah. But then you get that every day in jujitsu. You do. So I kind of replaced jujitsu, replaced football with jujitsu. But imagine that. Like, Not just for that, yeah, but yeah. that's what I realized is a big factor. Yeah, of course. Like, I'm like, what is it about football that I like? And it was that. Yeah. And then I got it without yeah. the, the orbit. I get less injuries training jujitsu like almost every day than I did when I played football. Exactly. And the it's best, mad, isn't it? That? Yeah. And the best thing is like, imagine starting your day with someone trying to choke you the fuck out. Do you know what I mean? Like, what else is going to go wrong for yeah, day? What's so going to be more challenging than... So, yeah, the other day... The other, dude, honestly, in our house, it's just a normal thing. Strange men coming at the fucking door. <laughs> every night, there's different dudes coming at the house. Is someone's here for dad again. Yeah, to kill him. <laughs> dude, Friday. The other Friday, before I got me blue belt, actually, um, we, uh, I'm rolling in the garage with two friends of mine. Yeah. And uh, Nina's watching. So yeah. Nina now, she has a full-on conversation while we're training. So me and Matt will be rolling, Matt will have his arms around my neck, and Nina will be like, Dad, you never guess what happened today. It's just normal for her. So anyway, the garage door's wide open because it's fucking roasting hot. Yeah, yeah. We're in Lycra, because there's no gay. Three sweaty guys in the garage. Two of them are wrestling with each other on the floor. Seven-year-old girl, combing Bobby doll's hair. This fucking delivery driver comes to the door. He's not delivering awesome. pizzas. He's like, I'll just leave this here. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine that scene. Your delivery drivers, three fucking grown men. Rolling around the garage with light round and the little girls watching them as though it's normal. But see, this is the thing, like people don't, they still, so many people still don't know what it is. Yeah. And I think um, 
it's and I think one thing that I love about it, probably my favorite thing about it is it doesn't matter who the fuck you are, the element of respect oh, when it comes sick. to jujitsu when you step on the mats. Yeah. Even the bowing, shaking the black belt's hand first yeah. when you go in. I feel like society and especially our generation is slowly fading away from that respect thing. Yeah, yeah. And when you jump on the mats, it doesn't matter who you are. Mm-hmm. Like you show that respect. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And if you don't, you get your ass whipped. Yeah. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? So yeah. I, I think I love that. And the community aspect of Dude, it. The community is amazing. Like I know, I think it's one of the reasons I had to work so hard for me fucking blue belt is that I'll go to another gym and train. Oh, if I'm on a holiday, I'll go and train there. Yeah. So Tenerife, I'll train. Yeah. Dubai, I may train. Yeah, that's good. Dubai, I may train. Yeah, do it. And that's what I love about it. Like, I've been to your gym and trained. Yeah. I'm trying to think. I've been all over and trained. I've got like three gyms now. I'll go to one in Sydney that I always go to. And it don't matter. You get treated the same. And this is the best. You do jiu-jitsu. Oh, come in straight away. Like when you see a cauliflower air when someone out, you're like, (laughs) purple purple belt. belt." (laughs) Yeah, I'm dying for a belt. I'm dying for a fucking cauliflower cauliflower. air. I've got a little bit, you know. I've got a tiny one. It's covered by your fucking mop of hair that you've got right now. I know. Smith gets jealous, innit? You're like a Turkish wurzel gummage. Yeah, yeah. Dude, you're keeping your hair like that. Yeah, man, I'm going for the fat Zac Efron look. Yeah. <laughs> Bro, we mentioned this on the first podcast that we actually didn't end up running. Did you see that Zac Efron show? I watched um, an episode. I wrote a little Bro, did you see him getting that shit talk about him with a dad bod in that? What, him? He's ripped, man. Dude, you there was this, all this shit online, like newspapers are writing articles, oh, Zac Efron's got a dad bod. It's because they're comparing him to that film. 16-year-old fucking cat weasel that he was he back Baywatch then. did Baywatch or something, didn't he? Huh? Is it? Oh, he was he in Baywatch. Baywatch. I'm he, pretty sure he was on the juice there. He looked like... Dude, he what he said in that yeah. show, it's because he's hairy in that now, like he's not vetted up and that. Yeah. This is a shame. It looks better but for him, mate. It, it, but when he, you got to th- consider when he was shredded, he was much younger. Mm-hmm. Like he's still in fucking great shape. And he yeah. said, I think he said something like he wasn't eating any carbs for about fucking eight months when he did Baywatch. Yeah, no wonder he was fucking yeah. tiny. Yeah. Like, wow. honestly, he said something and I meant to make a... Re- I was like, wow, that's insane what they made him do. He was yeah. eating carbs and he was, like, in the show, he was eating carbs and he was buzzed that he was eating carbs. Yeah. He was like, in Baywatch, I didn't eat it, eat a single carb for, like, eight months or something. That's fucking oh, crazy. That is crazy. Nah. Like, that's the type of shit I'd never want to do. No. Nah. Like, what? Just nah, doesn't, nah. doesn't... But that's the thing, when you want to look aesthetically good, like, your whole diet... Also, you got to consider, change. he's getting paid fucking... Big, uh, big book. Cheese. Yeah, maybe he's actually... Actually, yeah. you would. Yeah. You would. <laughs> <laughs> Cut carbs, mate. Take that you back. You eat for a fucking year. <laughs> yeah, we were ta- I was actually talking about... Um, Podcast sponsorship and that, and I was like, eh, I don't think I'm gonna have sponsors on. And then we're like, well, Joe Rogan got 100 million. For a I take 99. Yeah, but, I would, t- would you take 99? 99 what? Million, bruv. <laughs> <laughs> There's not that many things a man wouldn't but do for 99 million. But see, with Rogan though, even like when he went over, like the the money he would have got from ads through um, even Apple Podcasts or whatever would have been really high. But what about the views he gets on YouTube and stuff? Mm. Yeah, I watch, I watch, like, I don't think I've ever watched a Joe Rogan podcast not on YouTube. I like watching them. Yeah, I'll tell you. On in yeah. the background. I've never watched a single one. Yeah, I, like, really? I like watching, I like seeing like, their body language. It. It's, it's mad, isn't it? Thing. It's the same as that Love Island thing. I've got three friends that have been on Love Island. I've never watched a single episode. I, I want to do a I podcast on that. where I'm like, where we're drinking. Really? Mm. I think yeah. that would That'd be fun. Cool. Yeah, Drinking, yeah. smoking weed or something. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But Leslie, like, Leslie, drink. Leslie, I'm not doing that. <laughs> 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 yeah, you can leave that for him, man. Do you imagine that? Drinking that yeah, stuff for me, though. I like that. I think, I it'll, think be, it'll be cool. I think it'll be a good conversation. Like, it'll get... It'll loosen, loosen up. Loosen up a little bit more. Yeah, yeah. And then it'll be like... Because I think like... I don't think I've got any stories that I haven't told. Yeah, but no, I just in the, the gen- story. Nah, yeah. like just... I think it's just a little bit more like I think you know you know when you first take a sip out of a drink, you know when you're on holiday, right? Yeah. You'll feel this in Dubai when you get there, when you have a drink. I do right? no booze on holiday in the morning. I've got two fucking kids, man. No, but you might have a drink though. Yeah. Right? Yeah. And you're like got that Life's buzz. good, man. Ooh. Yeah. You get that yeah, ooh, yeah. yeah, you get that. I've ooh. had that on a flight before. Yeah, yeah it's nice. You get yeah. excited, you're like yeah. and it's just that slight little appreciation. You don't know, get smashed. Yeah. Dude, when I came to that tour in January, I had no intention of getting fucking right on it. Oh yeah, a little cafe patron, and it was. We ended up in that club. What was that club? House Terrible. Of Smith. Terrible. That's what it was. That, but uh, that's the first time I felt old. Yeah, yeah. Me, I said it was like a fucking Tuesday night. or yeah. something. Me, it was. I think it was a uni night. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was a uni night, and we had a table in the back. It was terrible. It's old man's and that. Dude, it's so fucking bad. <laughs> so bad. I. I was like, shit, man. I felt. I was like, girls coming over. I'm like, dude, how, imagine how, how old, old are you? Feel? How old are you? Imagine how old I feel. <laughs> 
Right. Like, I was literally granddad fucking Paul in the fucking room. Don't worry, man. You're in shape, though. I'm doing all right. You're, you're in, you're in... Hey, let's talk about getting in shape. It's the best shape I've seen you in. Is it? Yeah. Shit, that's crazy. Yeah, yeah. That's crazy, isn't it? Yeah. It's the best. This is the best shape you've been in. Isn't Possibly. It? It's the fittest I've ever been. Yeah. By far. Yeah. Actually, I want to talk about this. So, I remember at the start of lockdown, I set this challenge. Have you seen this 75 hard thing yet? It's Andy Frisell, I think. 75 hard. 75 hard. Still getting like, hard at 75. Like <laughs> you, you know what it is, right? Yeah, like, yeah. This guy, Andy Frisella, he has a kick-ass podcast, right? Yeah, yeah. And he has this challenge called 75 hard, where every day, you basically have to do this challenge for 75 days. Yeah. If you, if you don't hit the... There's points, if you want. You have to start again. So it's like two workouts a day. One of them's got to be outside. Okay. X amount of water. Ten, ten, one chapter of a book or ten pages of a book or something. Yeah. No booze, no X, no Y. And I'm like, so I set up something like that at the start of lockdown. Yeah. And I didn't start losing weight until I quit that. Because that was perfection. Okay. Like, so every time I'd not hit it, I'd fuck up and start again. So, mm. But then once I just started focusing on the basic shit. That's when you hit Training, it. doing things that I love. Yeah. Tracking my fucking calories and hitting 15,000 steps a day. It was like, it's, it's, it's the basic stuff. It's not that hard. Yeah. We talked about being in shape on, I think, like episode three or something. We talked about yeah. being in shape. And for you guys that are listening, like, did you see that question I got asked on Instagram the other day about the wife? No. Oh, bro, sorry. I'm, I'm sorry to call you out if you're listening, but I can't remember your name. Guy said, I'm, um, I'm happy with my, I've lost loads of weight. I'm happy with my physique, physique but my wife isn't. Um, should I strive to get Lena? I said, bro, I'll be striving for a new wife. Fuck. But but it makes it, and I said on a serious note, to be honest, people underestimate how much of an impact being in shape has on so being geez. a modern man. Everything. And I, and I say modern man because I've never been a fucking woman or an old-fashioned man. So I'm a modern man, and people don't realise how much of an impact it has. No. Like, on your energy levels, on your sleep, on your confidence, on your work, on your even on your all-round happiness. Because if you're in shape... And I don't want to say you've done it right because I don't know everything. But if you've done it in a way that you do an exercise you love, mm-hmm. yeah. you're not doing a diet that you fucking hate doing. Mm-hmm. Obviously, there's got to be some level of discipline. You're not cutting food out that you love. You're not doing training programs. You're not forcing yourself to go to the fucking gym. Like, if you've lost weight like that, like, everything's fucking better. It's way better. You're just a be- in fact, I'm going to say this, you're actually happier. And I'm not saying that your happiness is linked to your weight or your body shape what I'm saying is that often your body shape is linked to your energy levels 100% and that impacts everyone around you your happiness is about you feeling good yeah and when we are in shape when you look in the mirror and you're happy with what you see yeah it makes you feel good yeah do you know what I mean yeah. when you're more, more active yeah. mm-hmm. you feel good and I think a lot of people just put too much pressure on their self yeah and you're often around people that also feel good yeah. which has an Im- do you know what I mean yeah, yeah, and when you're around people that feel good you can't help but that rub off on you. Yeah, it's of like course. the lighthouse it, energy, isn't it? Yeah. This, this is the thing. If you're around people, and this is why I think it's so important not to change your friends, but if you're around friends that always want to drink, always eating, yeah, it's hard. always, it's hard. Yeah. And then when you, and the crazy thing is, when you try doing something about it, your friends that don't want you to be successful, <laughs> what, do you mean, what do you mean you're not drinking? Yeah. What do you yeah. mean you're not You're yeah. gay. What do you mean you're not posting that? Yeah. yeah. What do you mean you're not, you're not going to, you're not going to order no extra bread. chips or no bread, bread or whatever it is. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Hey, we need to cover this. Go on. <laughs> Something about James. Something, Something about, James. about James. I've got I've got two things I want to cover. Oh, right I now. thought you were going to bring up. No, else. I'm going to bring that up as well. <laughs> yeah. Once I'm having the Nando's with James. Um, He's uh, a weird guy. Dude, uh, put yourself in this scenario. We're having the Nando's. There's a burger. Yeah. There's vegetables. Yeah. I think he must have been low carbon or something, right? Yeah. What do you eat first? Bruv, I leave the best till last. That's the, that's the house rule, This crazy it? guy eats the best first yes. and eats the shittiest thing last. Madman. Well, I think it's some of my kids sometimes do it. They're like, well, Dad, what if I get full? I'm like, full? What's that? Yeah, you know I know. What I mean? I'm like, full? Full. Well, that's the time I was fucking full. Yeah. I'm but like... I love when you get tablets to say, or supplements to say, take on an empty stomach. I'm like, what's one of those? Yeah. <laughs> Here's another one for you. I've got a real problem with mash. In fact, I'm going to start a new hashtag with hashtag mash is trash. Why? Think about all the things you can do with a potato, the humble potato. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can have a jack of potato. Yeah. You can have maybe boiled potatoes. You yeah. can have fries. Hold on. Why was boiled potatoes? Hold on. That means hold on. That, Dude, that means hold on. Yeah. Had on is hold on. Boiled potatoes probably shouldn't be second. I'll no, give you that. Definitely give you that. Not. You, so you can have jack of potato, you can have fries, you can have oven chips, you can have potato wedges. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can have um, a, a roasted potato. Yeah, yeah. You can have a fucking hassle back. You ever had one of those? No. Hassle back potato? No, no, no. 
Oh, dude. Oof. Good. Oh, bro. Hash brown. Oh, yeah. Hash brown. Oh, bro. You can have a hash brown. Out of all the things that you could do with a potato, why choose to fucking smash it and turn it into mush? To be fair, I'm not about mashed potatoes. To make it taste good, what have you got to do? Lace it with cream and butter. And when you're all about that fucking calorie track in life. Then check this out though, Mac. And to be fair, Catherine, who's our office administrator, I said if you had a Sunday roast and you had an option, roast potatoes or mash? No. Yes. Madman. I love mash. mash. What? Instant fucking. To be fair, I, dis- I never had disciplinary. Like, like growing up, growing up, like we never had because it, it was always Turkish food at home. So yeah. I never had. My mom would never ever make a mashed potato. I didn't mm. even see that until ruin like, ruins it, man. It's yeah. got to have a bit butter, like not just straight up no, potato. No. No, bit bit butter. Butter. But the mad thing is, you're consuming so much in such a small space. It doesn't even set the volume. Doesn't satisfy. It's you. not even good. But roast potatoes, they're the best, bro. With salt on, ah, uh, bro. Salt. Here's what my fat. son. Yeah, my yeah, son's like, dad, dad. He said, I like those roast potatoes. He said, I like the outside, but I don't like the mash in the middle. <laughs> <laughs> then someone actually said to me yesterday, you do know that inside of a roast potato is mash. I'm like, it's not, because no, you, yeah. you haven't fucking mashed, mashed it, up. it up. Yeah, yeah. Anywho. Yeah. <laughs> Fitness. 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 Being fit, everything being easier. Being yeah. fit, everything being easier, eating out. Eating out, yeah. Fucking hell, I'm, get, I'm getting better linking these things back. I remember yeah. what the fuck I was talking about. Yeah. No, eating out, I love eating out. Yeah, and we're talking about being in shape. Yeah. People yeah. trying to get in shape. Yeah, and how much of an impact it has on your happiness? The biggest impact, I think. Like, if you've you... seen, dude, you've seen this with fucking thousands of people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know. I see it daily. It's it's crazy because I think sometimes when like sometimes only with my clients and ones that I've got to know and understand a little bit more, I sometimes give them a bit of tough love. Yeah. Because sometimes when they complain about stuff like doing this, doing that, I'm like, take fucking action then. Do you know mm-hmm. what I mean? Like, I give them a bit of tough love. I'm like, you know what you have to do to feel good. Yeah. Right, and you know it as well. So why aren't you taking action if you don't like the way you're feeling right now? Yeah. And I think as soon as they have that feeling of feeling good after they have got into being in a more healthy state, yeah, they appreciate the uh, the smaller things in life yeah, way yeah. more. I mean, I remember that, um, this always gets me, and I, I think I said this on my last podcast was there was one time I put on a lot of weight. After playing football in Turkey and stuff, I, my head was all over the place. I put on a ton of weight. I went over 100 kilos once. Oh, yeah. yeah, for me, that was fucking crazy. And I remember sitting on an airplane seat and feeling really uncomfortable. And I was like, nah, I, nah, I can't. Yeah. Like, sitting on a plane and I'm like, I, I'm like, the, the, the person's bringing food over. And I'm like, I can't have that. I shouldn't have that. Well, like, you eating yeah. it off your tummy and that. Yeah. Not, <laughs> yeah. Not, not to that extent, but I felt like that. Yes. And maybe I was exaggerating, but I'm glad I did because I just didn't want to feel like that. Mm. Do you know what I mean? So next time I was like, I had a go in my head. I was like, next time I get on a fucking flight, I want to make sure I feel comfortable Comfy. within myself. Yeah. And I think that's one of the things where, and I even say this, like one of my clients before, uh, she had to buy two plane seats to go on holiday and I was like that alone should be your motivation mm. yeah. if you don't want to do that yeah, do you yeah. know what I mean Cause, and then you get those I remember one guy in our program he was embarrassed because he had to get the seatbelt extension yeah yeah do you know the pregnant ladies have to yeah, have yeah, when, yeah, you've got yeah. a, when you've got a kid yeah, that sits on your knee yeah. he had to get that yeah. and that was a big motivation for but him. that's that, that motivation alone should should be enough and yeah. when you remind everyone where, do you know what I think you know what yeah. I think Darren you'll know this more than me I think the challenge that people have with getting in shape is they think they have to do stuff that they hate. Yeah. They think they have to go to the gym. Yeah. They think they have to go running. Yeah. They think they have to do all these things. Like this I'm like, Julian just, effort. I just, I just find something that burns fucking calories. walking? Yeah. Need up 24-7. So <laughs> mention need up 24-7 a few times. For, there'll be a lot of people that have yeah, no yeah. fucking idea what we're talking oh, about. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, so... Uh, Pop them, obviously, if they're your followers. Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Need up 24-7. Need is non-exercise activity thermogenesis. It's just your general activity. Anything that is not unplanned is neat. Yeah. What I did is just made a bit of a hashtag, a bit of a trend, made it, simplified it for people yeah. to get your neat, your general activity up. Yeah. Although if you plan it, it's not neat. Yeah, Increase which is crazy. It. It, yeah, it's just You've crazy. Had all this debate, yeah, 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 I know. For me, it's just get neat up to me is like, I'm just going to get more steps in. Just move more. Exactly. Yeah. And yeah. I think people didn't realize the impact of just being more generally active. Dude, it's has been a huge It's deal. crazy, right? Huge deal. Not just me. physically, but mentally for, too. Yeah, for someone like me who... I mean someone my age <laughs> who can't train hard as fuck every single day like you'll do three fo- three hour classes back to back three sessions back to back every fucking I can't my body can't handle that Yeah. so getting my knee up has been a fucking massive deal yeah. for me Low I'm my kids yeah. I'm like, listen if you want to get your eat up 
Yeah. You've got to get your neat up. But guess My what? kids know that even on holiday, I'm like, if you want to get if you want that punk them pancakes, you've got to get your neat up. But see, that's so good that you're showing your kids that because then when they as they get older, they're gonna know, they're gonna be like, you know what, I do want that. I want to have the ice cream, but maybe I should I'm gonna have it, but I'm just gonna walk a bit more. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And yeah. I think it's just it's just been uh un- it's Dude, just they're on my kids now, now, Dad, if you have that. I'm going to have to get your knee up. Oh, sick. We can, I love that. <laughs> that's cool, isn't it? I Dad, if you that. have that, you're going to have to get your knee up. I love that. I love that. I love that. Yeah, it's cool, isn't it? Yeah, it's so it's cool. But yeah, I think that, that I think that's the, the big thing about getting in shape. You always think, oh, I have to have to do things that I hate doing. Yeah. And it feels like sometimes it's, I'd rather have the pain of, this people's thought process, I'd rather have the pain of being fat. Yeah. I'd rather be uncomfortable Damn. doing this than the pain of having to get up with fucking... Like I have to get up at five AM if I want to go and work out. I'm like, yeah, nah, you bro, don't just have to do that. Yeah. Nah, it's, mad. it's crazy. It's just, I think people forget that. Dude, and as a PT, I found it even harder. I was like, oh, I have to go to the gym and I have to do fucking a bit more periodized exercise and yeah, yeah, fucking I have to do push pull fucking all yeah. that shit. And I hated going yeah. to the gym. Yeah, but I yeah. think people forget that they whatever whatever you love is something that you're going to be most consistent with. Yeah. So all you got to do is find what you enjoy. Yeah. yeah. And that's it. Yeah. For us, it's jujitsu. Yeah. It's martial arts. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? And after after football, for me, that was hard to find. And when I found that, I was like, thank fuck. Because yeah. when I feel shit, when I go and train, even if I still am a bit puffy or if I, if I do hold on to a bit of weight, just me training and being active just automatically makes me feel better. Yeah, yeah. And people just need to find something. Yeah. And, and it's what, I remember when I was a PT, you know, we have this thing in marketing and it's a big influence, I think, where you'll always have a pop at something else, right? Yeah. You have a pop at something else because you follow us. It's like an us versus them thing. Yeah. Good versus evil. Um, I remember when I was a PT, you, dude, you're talking like 11 years ago, this. Yeah. The thing that I used to poke fun at was Zumba. Remember yeah. Zumba? <laughs> you used to teach that? No, no. <laughs> fucking kidding me. Did you see me on the dance floor? Dude, I'm doing the fucking dad shuffle. <laughs> I'm doing the dad shuffle. By the way, did you see that Gordon Ramsay video yet? Have yes. Seen it? yes. Friday, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. See yeah. Ramsey doing it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bro, what a dad dancer. He danced. <laughs> was that, I danced like that. That yeah. was this week. Was that, was that the stuff he's doing on TikTok? He's no, so around, you know man. you know that, that video of the guy M- where he's walking. Oh, oh, he it's Friday, yeah, 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 yeah. That one. He Ramsey did the thing by the car. It's oh, amazing. Oh, really? I love Ramsey's my dream guest, by the way. Really? My oh, He lives down the road from me, isn't it? I remember you showing me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's him, Robbins, McGregor. Different cartels are close mm. for so, um, <laughs> but yet <yeah>, um, <laughs> bro, we're, we're doing that fucking circle around again. Where was that? What for? I'm Come not... on, Ramsey, dad dancing Zumba. Zumba yeah. <laughs> there you go. Look, I'm, I'm even doing it out loud now. I'm doing it. Zumba. So Zumba was the thing that I poked fun at, because I was like, this is not the best way to get in shape. Yeah. You need to do fucking hit. Yeah, yeah. You need to be doing interval training. You need to be fucking working on your metabolism, getting your fucking epoch. Uh, epoch, yeah, you know yeah, what? Epoch. Yeah. Epoch's how many calories you burn after that workout. Yeah. You need to get epoch up. Now I get it. Yeah. Fucking 11 years later, I'm like, oh, I get it. You did that because yeah. you loved it. Yeah. And you know what? If you stick at it long enough yeah. and your nutrition's on point, it is going to help you get it. But the shape. thing is, even if people don't, say for people that don't like calorie counting and yeah. they want to go keto or whatever, yeah. I, n- no matter how much I don't like it, like yeah. being keto or cancelling, uh, removing any sort of macronutrient from your diet, yeah. is do the diet that's going to. Um, that you can do the longest. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And if it is something that you can do the longest, then that's fine if it yeah. works for you. Works I'm always you. like, now, even I'm like this now, I'm like, you know what? You shouldn't probably start any diet that you can't see yourself sticking to some variation of forever. Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. You know I mean, I've been a guy that's tried every fucking yeah. diet. Under that's that. why I don't like meal plans. Yeah. People are like, Darren, can you do meal plans on your Project X? I'm like, no, because... The minute I tell you what to eat, you're probably not going to do it. Yeah. Yeah. It's not your plan anymore. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah. I need a, I need that little bit of flexibility. Like, Yeah, well, if you do need anything, Paul, you can sign up to a project. <laughs> 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 call that a world-class seed. Discount class code. That's a world-class world seed. seed. <laughs> that was a seed. That was a great seed. Yeah, where do world I find class. out about that website? Well, water it. I'll find you with the Facebook ads. <laughs> <laughs> Targeting the Paul Moore talk. Targeting the, the Paul Moore po- talk <laughs> shit podcast. Yeah. Episode... <laughs> I don't know what, what episode, episode is this. I don't know because no we've what. got a few in. Limbo. We've got a few. We've got a few done already that we haven't put out yet. We're probably going to be steps. fourteen, thirteen or fourteen. Oh, amazing! That's sick. That's it. Fourteen, it's all right. Isn't it? Darren nice. took fourteen episodes to, add, uh, to invite me on his. Yeah, podcast, but I had so. I had to build an audience for you. First. Oh, is that what it is? That's what it is. <laughs> <laughs> I had to warm everyone up. They weren't ready for Paul. Moore. I was looking at some of the people that he had on before me. I'm thinking, how the fuck have they got on before me? Are you kidding me, Mush? Uh, you know who I did enjoy having on though, who? like Nicky Rod and that. Yeah, from jiu- anyone that jujitsu yeah, stuff like yeah, I was yeah. like, oh, this is sick. He's a mutant. Yeah, but the problem is, it's like, a bit. It becomes a bit selfish, doesn't it? Yeah, like, I, I found that I'm, 
because I'm when you're doing a podcast, you're part thinking, I'm really enjoying this conversation. I love interviewing this guy, but are the people listening getting any are they value enjoying this? this? <laughs> you know yeah. what I mean? Yeah, yeah. It's, a, it's quite a difficult because also because of what I've done in the past on my podcast, interviewing people and giving value. I'm like, but then you look at Rogan. Yeah. He's just honestly, shooting the shit. I, I honestly, God's honest truth, think people just love like a raw, like something yeah. they can relate to, just like yeah. they're having yeah. conversations with their mates. Yeah. Yeah. It's just kind of like... Oh, it's shit. a really interesting place to be in. Yeah. yeah. Like, because you're almost like, I'm giving value. But then again, I've been on so many podcasts being interviewed. Yeah. That I get asked a very similar question. Yeah. Yeah. And you're bored of answering them. I'm bored yeah. of answering yeah, them. Of course. Yeah. But the thing is, if if you're talking to someone that interests you anyway, I think a more natural discussion comes out. Yeah. yeah. You know what I mean? Like this, there's there's nothing written here. We're just talking. Yeah. yeah. Talking shit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? Well, so, that's why I call the Pomo Talk Shit. I mean, do you know what? I'm gonna do a little bit of a selfish podcast. I'm gonna get on who I wanna get on. Yeah, you should. And I'm gonna talk about what I wanna talk about. I remember my a mastermind that I mean, the guy that runs it, Nick was saying, he said, Paul, he said, I love the interview with Fury. He said, but part of me, I've listened to a couple of them, part of me's thinking, like, there's not much to do with, because you know I work with I work with married businessmen mainly, there's not yeah. much from married businessmen in terms yeah, of yeah. value and content. And then part of me's like, yeah, I get that. Yeah. And I'm thinking that when I'm talking. This is the only one way I haven't really thought about it. Yeah. yeah. Like, I don't think I'm, you should though. You know I think? I think that because any, any discussion you're going to have is discussions that they have and they can pick things up. Yeah. Like there's, there's no doubt whoever listens to this is going to pick something up from yeah, this. It's the whole thing. Even if they just have a fucking laugh. Which they're 100%. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah 100%. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 100%. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? It's a really interesting. We talked about this the other day, didn't we? I was like, you know what, Mac? I'm in a weird place with this. Am I interviewing them or ha- am I having a conversation with them? Mm. Because the thing is, when I'm interviewing, I don't feel like I can add any value sometimes. No. And it's my fucking show. Yeah. <laughs> so the reality is, I set this up to do what I want. You, you've got to think, though, a podcast. Any, can, what even is it? They can just fucking turn it. What like even it, is a podcast? But for me, a podcast... You know what's mad? I've probably learned more of podcasts than I have of books. Mm. Really? From listening yeah, to Yeah, I'll say this about the, the authors. I'm like, sometimes you get more value because they cut straight to the... Cut straight I, to I, the... As someone that's written a book and as someone that's fucking help a ton of people with books. Fluff. There's, you have to fill it with fluff so the book's yeah. thick enough. Yeah, 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 yeah. Do you know what I mean? Like, I remember I got my book edited, unstartablebooks.com. Uh, <laughs> that that's not fantasy. even a seed. That, that's a straight up, <laughs> that's a no holds barred by my shit. Um, but I remember I got it, I, I put it out January last year, which is mad. That's crazy. That's mad that it's only yeah. been, I don't even talk about it much because it feels like it's been out for years. January 2019, I put it out. And then earlier this year, we got it edited again. Yeah. And he took so many pages out. I'm like, it's really thin now. Yeah. And that part of me was like, but then I'm, I'm also like, you shouldn't equate like the value they get from something by how big it is. Yeah, of course. Leslie buys into that theory. <laughs> One of us. <laughs> yeah, I've, t- I've said before, long and thin goes too far in. Short and thick does the trick. <laughs> not a girl, you're a short. Uh, exactly. It's not, yeah, you know the deal. So, so and I'm like, uh, books have to be, you have to fill them with fluff, but you're right with a podcast. Yeah. It's better. Sometimes they, they'll give just the thing that they wanted to get across in the book without having to fill it with a story. Yeah, because like, you know when I'm reading a book or when I'm trying to read a book, I haven't read too many books. I, I like audio books. I'm way more, I learn more when I'm listening or yeah, if I'm talking to yeah, someone. Yeah. Same. And so when I'm, when I'm walking, I just put on a podcast. Mm-hmm. Whereas if you tell me, hey, Darren, read this, I have to sit down. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it feels like a chore time. sometimes. I, 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 you probably link it, it to, You probably links it to school as well. You're, You're possibly linked to being in school. 100%, yeah. yes, which was why. See, I love I reading. How crazy is that? Do you? Yeah. yeah, but I read more fiction. Oh, okay, really? I read a lot of fiction. Really? Yeah. How often do you read? I probably do two fictions a month. Really? Yeah. Oh, that's pretty yeah. sick. Every two weeks. But I do Are you it. a big reader? No, man. I'm not Audio either. Audiobook. Audio yes, book. I, I, I always try and get people into fiction. All the time, I'm like, mate, you should read this fiction book. It's amazing. Yeah. I'm going to start doing it before bed. because That's like, what I read. Help, help I read fiction before bad. bed, and I read so much fiction on holiday. I yeah. never read business or personal development on holiday. Really? Think about it as well, mate. Most fucking business books are boring as fuck. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's why I don't... Very. If I see someone's book that's blown up, I'll be like, how do I... Often I'll be like, how do I get asked? How can I get him on a podcast? How can I, what else has he got? Yeah. How can I get coached by him? So I'm reading a book right now about this guy that went to jail. Yeah. Okay. And he was a coach. Okay. Yeah, and he yeah. went to jail and he was a mentor and he, he, it was some tax thing or something, right? It's an amazing book. Peter Sage is called. I'll end up getting coached by this guy because I'm loving the book. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But 
I'm like, I'm probably not even going to finish the book. I'm probably going to be like, dude, straight go to. How can I get coached by you? Yeah. What do I need to do to get in? There's yeah. probably loads of people that have bought my book listening yeah. who haven't even read it. Yeah. Maybe read the first fucking page and had that brains blown off. Yeah. And being like, I need faster access. It's almost faster access. Yeah. It's cut the fluff and give me straight to the fucking meat. Sauce. Because I've never, I've never, I'll be honest, I've never read a book and gone, wow, that was amazing. Mm. Yeah. You need to, like, I'm more like, I've listened to it or whatever, and I'm like, yeah, this is great. Yeah. But I've never, like, like my sister will talk to me about when she used to read Harry Potter books, and the books are Dude, way... I've read all the Harry Potter. See, you, people go, the books are way better than the film. I'm like... Yeah. The just fuck? The fuck just film. Watch the film, bro. What's yeah, that? Dude. That's dude, there's me. so many. <laughs> the there's that's so many me. books that are way better than the film. Really? So, ah, bro, so many. He's one of those guys. Yeah. I'm, I'm gonna give I'm, you a Twilight, a I'm Twilight a series. Learner. Yeah. I've watched all the new on Netflix. <laughs> well, he's a new Batman, ain't he? Wait, Team Jacob, bro. Dude, he's a new Batman. <laughs> dude, he's a new Batman. You know? You know what? A whole. Edward's a new Batman. I was. You know what? There's a part of me because he was saying they're gonna go for that old school look where he's not gonna get really big and muscly yeah. and. He's gonna wear the grey one with the underpants over the top. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> the fucking thing on the cape. But have you seen the ad for it? Have you seen that? He uh, showed me it the other day. It's there's hopefully you dark, know because they went for the last Batman. They went really dark and all of that stuff. Yeah. It didn't really work out. Mm-hmm. The Ben Affleck one. Yeah, it kind of flopped. But I reckon with this, they're gonna try to do it right. And if yeah. they do, I think it would be. Do they not be Christian Bale by the way? Huh? They'll not be Bale. He's the best one. Bale for me so far. Yeah. Have you watched the last Joker? The Joker. Yeah, oh, dude. Scary yeah, shit. Dude. That is insane. That is so. I'm I'm assuming they're gonna link all that up eventually. You know, I would imagine so. You never know. Yeah. I'm Team Marvel all the way though. Yeah, ah, man, bro. 100. Me, Marvel Hundy P. Yeah, Hundy P. Who's your favorite Marvel character? Um, this is a hard one. This is a hard. Very this hard is one. too hard for me. I did meet one of them. No way. Thanos. Fuck off. So check this out. I was in LA. Who plays right? Thanos? Um, Ron Perlman. It's not Ron Perlman. It's, is it? it's the guy from Men in Black. I forgot his fucking name. Yeah, he's, a person, yeah. he's a big boy actor though. He's a big boy actor. Yeah, 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 yeah. I forgot. We'll Google it in a sec. Um, but I was in LA. I was with James. Uh, we linked up. We did LA, San Fran, all of that shit. Yeah. I was coming back to London. I was um. I was uh, like, ah, Mar- uh, uh, Google yeah, up. Yeah, yeah, I was looking oh, up. My phone's there. Yeah, yeah. I was looking up. Um, I was on before. I was like, Marvel uh, Endgame just came out, yeah. mm-hmm. and I was like, I'm so excited to get back to London. Yeah. Unpack. Did you see the 4DX? The next time, no, nah, I don't do that. Oh, bro. I don't do, oh, oh do that. my god! It hurts nah, my eye. Nah, oh my it. god! It Max it. just sitting in 2D, watching 2D. Endgame, <laughs> eating fucking mash, yeah, and getting a dry mouth by drinking sparkling water. Oh, nah, nah, nah. Do you know this about him? Sparkling water. Sparkling water makes his mouth dry. Yeah, same as me. What the fuck? My oh god. my god! My god! I like sparkling water though, with a bit of lemon and ice. Mm. <laughs> yeah. It makes your mouth dry. It does. Yeah. It's dry. water. It's yeah. not. Nah. It makes you dry. Oh, I think there's a bit of sodium are... or something. Yeah. You guys are something. fucking twerps. Yeah. But so, I, I, I was in LA. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Going back to this, we went from. <laughs> went from yeah. That else is sparkling water name. and mash. Yeah. I'm looking at who he is. You look. You find the name. Okay. And I was like, Endgame just came out, and I and I looked over. I was like, Is that Thanos? I was like, That's fucking. Dude, I was that's on my a... own. And I was like, I need to, I want to say Josh hi. Josh Brolin, eh? I was like, I want to say Dude, hi. Dude, I didn't even know that. Yeah, 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 yeah. He's tiny, by the way. Dude, he's in Deadpool. He's so small. In Deadpool too. He's been in Guardians of the he's Galaxy. Like, he's like your height. Dude, that's crazy. <laughs> he didn't, he didn't bite. <laughs> that my height. I'm the tallest dwarf in London. <laughs> <laughs> but you know what? He's such a gentleman. I was yeah. like, I'm not really? going to ask for a picture because it was in LA. LAX. I would not know. I know him as an actor. He's yeah. great. Yeah. He played um he was in Deadpool, he played um that cable. Gable. Yeah, 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 Gable yeah, and Deadpool yeah, 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 it's the same. Yeah, 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 I didn't yeah, yeah, even yeah. know that. Oh, he's in he's in so many things. He's a big actor. Yeah. And when I saw him, I was like, oh my days. I went up to him, I was like, Hey man, I love your work. Just wanted to say, hey, uh, I'm not gonna ask for a picture or anything. I just want to say, hey, hope you have a great day. He was like, Thank you, sir, thank you very much. You have yourself a great day. And I was like, <laughs> I oh, just met Thanos. I was like, <laughs> yes. Crazy. I was like, this is fucking <laughs> sick. Shit. Yeah, and I was like, great. So your favorite in, in the Marvel? He's a bit of a shit house, no one. No. Thanos. A, Thanos is a, a prick. Thanos can't yeah, be. He's a prick. He is a bad man. No, 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 no. Iron Man broke my heart, obviously, with <sighs> his antics. <laughs> <laughs> We actually had Civil War on the other day in the house because Max loves Marvel. I had it on last night. Disney. Really? <laughs> yeah. We've got that new Disney Channel thing in it. Bob, you, got you just got Disney Channel just now. Oh, yeah. I've got it in isolation. Really? Yeah, Investment. Six, oh, he watched all that Mandalorian thing. Mate, oh, mate watch have you watched it? It's so good. I watch everything. I haven't watched Mandalorian. It's good. Oh, is that? No, I haven't watched the that. Star Wars no, spin off. Is that it's good? good? It's a bit repetitive, but it's good. Like this. I, I, like, I like a good yeah. cinematic. Is that the one Baby Yoda? Baby Yoda, yeah. So, 
What's the, he still haven't answered the question. Who's your favourite? He's having a good thing. Oh, this, he's I doing this stalling I know again. For, I, mine can come mine's, out. Mine's Thor. Yours? What's yours? Is it? Yeah, yeah. Who's it? Thor. 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 I've just, oh, he's a, he's Fat Thor. Fat Thor was great in Endgame. Fat, no, that was disappointing. Fat, oh, was it? <laughs> I was angry. Oh, mate, it was my favourite part. Like, I was like, what do you mean? So, so um, Thor only comes alive. Fat alcoholic Thor? Yeah, at the Amazing? end of the movie. No. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, no, you're not having the fat alcoholic Thor. I wanted that fucking What about his dude? What about his mate? Which one? The one that was with him at the, in Endgame, but he's also in the fucking uh, what was the th- oh, Thor Ragnarok? The oh. dude, the weird dude that he oh, met. Yeah, the, the, the one in the plays the South African. Uh, he's hilarious. Uh, no, you know what I mean? Kiwi. Yeah. Hey, hey, that's yeah. him. Kiwi. <laughs> yeah, dude. hello Thor. He is. Fuck off, ghost. Is it yeah, rock? Dude. It's rock or I bubbles. Can't or something. So no, did you know? Rock or bubble? <laughs> Those are two completely <laughs> different names. So he was apparently one of the producers of the movie. <laughs> dude, he <laughs> is. <laughs> What a I character he that is. answer. He's my he favourite. He is amazing. When you say, oh, he's dead. Aye. Uh, yeah, oh, he's yeah. dead. He goes, hey, yeah. bro, the revolution. <laughs> <laughs> when he's got that little character. Yeah. And he's like, oh, what's your mate called? He's, like, oh, he's got some but he's dead. Um, he's dead. dead. It's something like that. It's... My favourite character is Peter Quill. Oh, he's good. Star-Lord. Star-Lord is good. Dude. So is Rocket, though. I love Rocket. Rocket. Yeah. Oh, my God. Do you know that's Bradley Cooper? Yeah, yeah. And did you know Groot is Vin Diesel? Yeah. I knew you don't that. even fucking say anything. Yeah, Why yeah. would you pay him for that role? I am Groot. Just imagine that. It, imagine how much money he made. Just put his Groot. name on the fucking... Just, that yeah, that's what it is. Literally. Dude, yeah. he's insane, that. But yeah, um, Peter Quill's my favourite. You know which bit I love in Avengers? With him and Thor fucking going at it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When they're yeah, going yeah. at it with a band and yeah, he yeah, starts yeah. talking like... Yeah. Why, why the fuck are you talking <laughs> like him? Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> You know who I like as well? Fucking Gladiator Hulk. Oh, you Gladiator know, Hulk. Yeah, 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 Gladiator Hulk. Gladiator Hulk. Gladiator Hulk. Gladiator Hulk. Gladiator Ragnarok. Yeah, that, yeah. One, yeah. that was Ragnarok. probably one of my favourite. That is a very good with the devil's anus. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah Me and yeah, the kids yeah. talk about that all the yeah, time. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. That's a, that's a, honestly, watching those films with your kids is great because there's jokes in that they kind of, kind of don't get. Mm. Yeah. There's always a weird joke that my kids are like, Dad, he said this. I'm <laughs> excited to have kids just to start all of it again. Oh, dude, yeah. so much. Yeah, dude. <laughs> watch it in, in, oh, watch in the whole thing. We have the conversation that that regularly. What's your favourite Avengers? Yeah. Max will go like, Dad, are you serious? Because <laughs> he's seen... Sometimes yeah, I let my kid... Oh, dude, I watch it. let my kids watch it. Max is a lot of what he's seen fucking It. He's yeah. seen It too. He's seen Deadpool, Deadpool. I'm kind of bragging about it. And everyone's like, what, you let your kid watch that? Yeah. I'm like, well, listen, I'd rather... He would ne- The thing is with him, people think this all the time. Like, I'll swear in front of them sometimes by accident. Yeah. But they would never swear. Yeah, well, that's good though. Like they would never come out with fuck you or call us a dickhead or anything because yeah, they don't yeah. make a big deal of it. You know what I mean? Like, sometimes I'll hear kids swear, and I'm like, the parents make such a big deal of it. They that's, get so much attention from swearing. I, I think... That they'll keep doing it. My kids would, wouldn't fucking dream of swearing. I think that's bullshit. Yeah. When parents do that. Yeah. I remember What's in that? Australia, uh, someone I knew, family that I knew, they were so like, no, no, I can't swear in front of dad. and yeah. No, I can't do that, and this and that. And they were like, someone would swear, and they'll be like, I'm like, hold on, you fucking idiot. <laughs> <laughs> Are you not looking at the bigger picture here? Yeah. Like, how are you not looking into what is actually being said? Yeah. And you're concentrating on one, one word. word. Yeah. Instead of the message. Yeah. It's crazy. But I, did I get all the time? I, I, we had this conversation. Can you not say, can you do that without swearing? Yeah. No. No. Try me fucking best. <laughs> yeah. Can I fuck? It's, <laughs> exactly. it's like if you if you keep something from a kid or a teenager, they want to do it more. Yeah. Exactly. So if you're going right, you can't do this. Th- yeah. They're gonna yeah. they're gonna want to do it more. So if you yeah. kind of make normalize yeah. it. Yeah. They say people that swear are more honest as well. Really? Yeah. yeah apparently. That's fucking it's no right. Filter, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. No, no fucking filter. filter. Yeah, but my kids are uh, if they swear, I mean, I wouldn't. I tell them off, but I wouldn't make a giant deal of it. Yeah. yeah. Because I think a lot of kids will swear to get attention. Yeah. Because they don't get enough of it. If that was if that was my kid did, I would be like. Don't say that again. Yeah. That's it. I've, I'll have a problem that I'd start laughing. Yeah. <laughs> I remember once, Max was about five. So this was four years ago. He called me. He said, Grant, I told me you're being a dick. That was to my dad. I said, oh, my God. I couldn't keep my laughing. But he never said it again. <laughs> yeah. Never said it again. I said, Max, don't say that you hurt his feelings. Yeah. Didn't tell him off, I swear. I said, you hurt Grant. I told yeah, him call him a dick. But look, you said, don't say that again. You'll hurt his feelings. Yeah. He, You played the smart angle. Yeah. So he's gonna, he's like, I need to have respect for my mm-hmm. order. Yeah. Whereas if you turn around and said don't say that again or you're grounded, yeah. you'd be like, what? Uh, yeah, but now yeah. you've told him in a way where he understands. Yeah. Then it takes, it, the kids like test the water. Oh, oh, the one in all way. All the time. And if, Dude, if you... Nina's amazing at this. All the time. <laughs> <laughs> right. Nina is amazing at testing. Yeah. yeah. She, I think she might be a handful when she's older. Yeah. <laughs> I think she... I'm done. 
I think we're done here, lads. Yeah. I don't even know what time it is. I don't I know what time it is. Hammer time. I'm going to go outside. It's dark. Hammer time. <laughs> I've yeah. got a fucking call soon. <laughs> <laughs> Shit. No, I, so. I love it. Right. Well, listen, uh, Darren, for the guys that uh, don't know, where can I find that? Where can the guys that... Where do they find me? Yeah, where do they find you? Uh, you can find me on Instagram, Darren Cartel. If you hashtag me up 24-7, you'll see it. Or www.darrencartel.com. Yeah, that's it. That's it. Amazing. MySpace, Bebo, LinkedIn, <laughs> LinkedIn. YouTube, everywhere. Just search Darren Cartel. I love it. I love it. Thank Coach you Cartel. for having me. Thank hey, mate, my me. pleasure. I've had a blast. I have yeah, it's been great. Brother. Amazing. Thank you very Thank you, much. Bro. Thank you. Thank you. That was great. Thank you. Cheers, Mac. Good shit. Boom.